Hello, hello, hello. We should be live. Welcome to the stream, Max. How are you doing? Yeah, think so, Hector? I hope you're casting that on the Fortnite item shop. So, Hector. <laughs> Yo, what the flip, guys? That's not cool. That's not cool. Dude, they co they cooked when they made the uh, the opening in this one. I I feel like this has got to be like one of the. Well, okay. Like, excluding Shadow World, because Shadow World's like, like an otherworldly experience, you know? Um, this has got to be, like, like, top Persona OPs of all time. Someone needs to make the Persona OP quiz. A <laughs> curse of longing. Now he'll want it more. Oh, oh, oh no, you're doing, you're doing Cupid. Um, you're going, curse of longing. Now he'll want it more, more, more. No, um, Ted, I... I, I thought you were I thought you were referencing the opening to this game where they go, um I, I think they say want it more, want it more, or whatever, like they, they, they double up on the beat like that, like Parappa style. Um I, I don't know, Hector. The the portable one I feel like was really good. And the other ones I was like Well the other ones were good, but like um wasn't one of them just Burn My Dread and one was Mass Destruction? The other two? Like, P3 and then P3 Fez. Which, like, those are just battle songs, right? Like, I mean, I know Mass Destruction's a battle song. But, isn't P3, uh... Or, sorry, isn't Burn My Dread, like, a like a later battle song? I don't know. They aren't? Oh, okay. I mean, what, like, am I right, though, about it being Burn My Dread? Or is it, is that not real? One, one more, one more, one more Persona OP as a treat. Um, but welcome to the stream, Nick, Ted, and, uh, and everyone else. Just like I'm crying in my room because my bed is empty. I'm sorry, Max. I'm sorry. Sorry I left you alone like that. But, you know, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Or he's got the iPod Nano. You correct me if I'm wrong. The iPod Nano didn't even have a screen. Like, it had nothing. Right? 
It was just the buttons, right? Oh, oh, shuffle. I think I had a shuffle then. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I gotta look it up. I thought you were saying, like, shuffle pilled as in, like... I thought you were saying shuffle pilled Ted as in, like, uh... As in, like, uh... You know, when you say your song's shuffled. <laughs> Oh yeah, the shuffle is what I had. I thought that was the nano. See, I'm like tripping. Hold on, what's the nano look like? I typed, <laughs> I typed in the iPod and not me. Eh? Oh, okay. So the nano, okay, is like literally the shuffle with the screen, pretty much. Anyway, every day I'm shuffling. Let's just say if if having an iPod shuffle. Um, is the vibe every day I'm shuffling. Um, do you think the music in playing in the game is just the music the protagonist is listening to? Yeah, he, he just, uh, what's it called? He just, uh, you know, he's like, he's like, hold up, like, you know, it's, it's like right before the, uh, um, it's like when people just, uh, like, like, right before Bracket, they're like, hold on, let me, like, turn on, like, fucking, like, Attack on Titan the rumbling so I can fucking have my balls rumbling during the Bracket, like, like during the during the, the tournament set or whatever. Um, that That's what he does. He's like, hold up, Shadows. Like, I just gotta, I just gotta find the song I want, you know? The MP3 player is real. People keep ordering vintage ones. Wait, really? Is that a thing, Nick? Like, are, like, like, did our sales actually going up for for MP3 players now that like this game came out? Is that like a real thing, or are you just like, are you on up to some shenanigans? Um, I should get back on my shuffle grind. My running playlist used to be offline style. On it, are you able to? But like with Spotify, are you able to like use an iPod shuffle like that, or I don't know. Or, like, would you have to buy... Like, I thought you had to, like, buy the songs and, like... No? See, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's why I was like, yeah, that doesn't seem like it would work. I mean, I don't know, Ted. At, at this point, like, what's the point of having a shuffle when you have, like, a phone? Like, you're gonna... I mean, unless I'm mistaken, Ted, you're gonna have your... You're gonna have your, uh... Your phone on you anyway, right? So you might as well just, like... Like, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you might as well use it. Um. Oh, because the phone is too big in your hand? Ted, don't you have... Oh, without your phone at all? Okay, see, that's why I was asking, Ted. Because I was like, you're going to have it on you anyway. But if you, are if you like, genuinely don't do that, then, like, I guess that makes sense. Or, Ted, you could get the, uh, what's it called? I mean, Ted, you have AirPods, don't you? Can't you, can't you volume control and stuff on your AirPods? Or, no? Is that only, like... I mean, I know the wire headphones obviously have the little thingy. And you can, like, skip songs and, and turn the volume up and stuff. Yeah, but, Max, I imagine if, if Ted's running, that wouldn't really be a good idea. Like, I feel like pants with zip-up pockets are usually not meant for running. Um, like, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen any zip-up pants that would also be, like, good. Or, or zip-up, like, pockets on pants that would be, like, also good for running. I feel like it's usually, like, cargo pants or, like, I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, your winter jacket. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, I feel like like jackets and stuff, which you would wear in like winter, would have zip up uh, pockets. Yeah, your shorts have no such pocket. Yeah. Dad, why don't you just be goaded? Use use uh, wired headphones, and then all you have to do is press the little thingy. Like like have the phone in your pocket, and you just press the little thingy or whatever.
You know what I'm talking about? Wait, huh? What? The... Here, Ted. Allow me. Allow me. Ted, like, like these headphones, like, like old school style. Well, I say old school, but like, you know. And you have this thing. You can just press this thing to to change the volume, to skip songs, to to replay songs, to pause. Come on, Ted. You see, it's like this part right here. Volume's not the problem, but what I'm saying is, like, then you don't have to worry about carrying your phone, you just leave it in your pocket. Am I crazy? Like... Like, then you don't have to carry it. Like, you don't have to be like, okay, like, let's set this shit to, uh, to whatever, you know? Oh, because it'll fall out. Oh. That doesn't want the extra weight in him. Now Ted, Ted better be taking a fast shit after or before every run then. I need my phone because I have to hold it in my hand. And my phone gets all sweaty. Yeah. Well, see, you said you were holding it, which is why I was like, okay, like. Um, after run shit? Yeah, but if Ted doesn't want the extra weight on him, you know? Ted's gotta drop the load. Games? 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 Um... But yeah, Ted, I don't know, you just sound like the, you sound like the unhelpable sort, um, to be honest. Well, why don't you do the things that Hector said, like the, like the wristbands, am I crazy? Um... Like, don't they literally have, like, the running things for that? So it's like, you can hold your phone while running, and it will track your wiener. You know? I've never used one. Because I know, like, people who, like, use apps and shit to track their running on their phone, like, I think that's what it's meant for. But, like, I, I you know, you, you could just do that, and then... And then also, you know, and you'd also be able to listen to music on it, right? Hector kind of cooking? I feel like... Oh, you use an app to track running? Okay. Oh, let me see it. Bro, it wants me to type ooh woo fab. Hold up, hold up. I I'm taking a screenshot of this CAPTCHA. It like, won't let me open this up in the CAPTCHA. Hold up, I gotta send this CAPTCHA to you guys. Oh, that way, it, yo, check the, check the, what's it called? Check the, uh, check now or never if you want to see my CAPTCHA. They want me to start fapping. Oh, I see, this is, um... Yeah, yeah, Hector, that's what I'm saying, right? That, Hector, that's what I'm saying. Um, What's Strava? Is that your running app? Um, the... Oh no, I thought the fanny pack would be annoying because, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like... I don't know. I feel like it'd be weird. 
to have while you're running. Like, I feel like it would be uncomfortable, but maybe I'm tripping. I, I mean, I don't run really, so, so I don't know. I wouldn't know, but I feel like it would be, um, it's right at the waist. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I feel like it would be annoying. Oh, it's an exercise logging social media? Ted, do you actually use that? Is that where you track your, your running or whatever? That's funny. All right, six, seven, I gotta go to the rooftop, guys. Make note of that, make note of that. You do use it? I don't know, that's kind of funny. I, I feel <laughs> like, I don't oh, know. Eva, your dad, and your college roommates are all on it? That's funny. I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I mean, obviously, I don't really exercise, but... The, uh, I don't know. The, the concept is funny. To me. Yo, guys, what do you guys think of the, uh... What, what do you guys think of the title today? You can go on and give my dad kudos whenever he goes biking. That's so funny. <laughs> It'll be like Mr. CG just biked two miles, and and uh, and I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like, nicely done, nicely done. Um, you, you, oh, love the title streamer. Okay, I, I see Hector on. It came out on all his alt accounts today. <laughs> Literally John CG. And, uh, yeah, I didn't want to, uh, you know, I, I, I wasn't sure if we were on a first name basis like that, so I didn't, I didn't want to dox him. That's why he's Mr. CG to me. Mmm, mmm! The grind set mindset? Earned over a total of 50,000 yen from part time jobs? Guys, never say Surely One doesn't have that grind set mindset, bro. Sorry, that was just an awesome achievement name. It's a very awesome achievement name. Never, never say surely one does not have that. <laughs> Hector, that's awesome. Wait, Nick, how'd you know about that? Did you, uh, did you know, uh, did, did you follow me on Strava too? You mean my jogging session, right, Nick? I spend so much time thinking about ghost stories now I'm having nightmares. How's the research going? Yeah. It's going. There are so many stupid rumors going around, it's tough to try to make sense of the whole thing. I did get some useful info though, so I plan on digging even deeper today. Try to remember what you find out at school, okay, Pumpscoon? <laughs> See, Hector Strava would be goaded. Yes, that that is real. That that is real, Nick. But also, like, here's the thing: is like I never go in the Insta group chat because I don't look at memes on Insta. And anytime I open the Insta group chat, it's the most unfunny memes I've ever seen. So I saw that because Tommy sent it to me on Insta. So of course I sent it to the group because I wanted all my friends to feel like that. I wanted all my friends to be able to experience the fun of that. You know what I mean? I don't, I didn't want, like, I don't know why Tommy was, like, Tommy was passing notes in class, but, like, we, we were all friends, you know? We could have just, um. 
I told him I saw someone post that in your server. It was probably me who posted in my server too. Like I probably posted in both. Yo, look at the stanky leg. I got him hitting the stanky leg. Um. But like, I probably got it from Tommy on Insta and then posted it in my server is what I mean. Um, just to not get it twisted at all. Just to not get the, the story twisted, I, I believe that's probably what happened. You are Robin Hooding his meme. But like, um, my, my thing is, is like, like that's how, that's literally just how the internet works. Like people have been Robin Hooding memes for years. But like also the Insta thing, like, like, I don't get why he's upset about the Insta thing. Bro, bro, like, like I said, bro wanted to pass notes in class, but, like, only to me. Bro did not want to pass it to the rest of his friends. You know? Like, like, we could all have some. Like, I don't know why, I don't know why, why <laughs> bro wanted to pass notes exclusively to me. Maybe he thought it was funny because I like shitting on games that I've never played, and and he also likes doing that. So he's like, he like this is a real spot hitter. But like, but like, don't get it twisted. Like everyone loves that shit. It's just that some have more experience than others. It's the lazy bones. Yeah, it's the lazy bones. Um, you can post pictures of your workouts, like the sweatiest selfie ever, just got the craziest workout after leaving my apartment, haha, <laughs> who want me? Oh, he was going off on me in the Insta? Like I said, I don't open that chat. Well, okay, I open the chat, but I don't look. Um, I just clear my notifications on that chat every time I'm on Insta. Um. And, uh... So that's funny, because I don't think I saw him. I don't think I saw what he said. But that was like a month ago or two. Like, I can't, it's not like, if I open it now, like, I have to scroll through a bunch of unfunny memes to get to it. So, like, I don't even, I, I, when, unless, I don't know, maybe I did respond. I don't remember him going off about it in the chat. I, I remember him saying something to me, like, in VC about it, but. When it first happened. Oh, sorry, I'm uh I was mind flooded. I couldn't I couldn't make any coherent thoughts in uh in persona because I was mind flooded. I had to, I had to get back in the groove, remember what to do. Yeah, but like Nick Here's the thing, like, here's the exact point I'm trying to make, is, like, Tommy could have just posted that shit in the group chat, and he could have been the funniest in the group chat, but he sent it to me personally instead of to the group, so I was like, what are you, like, I don't know, that's why I just sent it. Because I also sent it to, I think, like, Hector and stuff on Insta. Um, you know? Like, I sent it to everyone else on Insta, too. Like, it's not like I just sent it to the group, but I was like, yeah, fuck it, I can, I can send it to the group, too. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I got you. Yeah, no, that's real. Um, I... I don't know, I feel like I have so many skill cards. I feel like I don't need this many, but... But here we are. No, Hector, I'm talking about, like, literally, like, a month ago, or more. That is it? I was watching a sponsored stream the other day, and, I mean, it was sponsored. Um... I, I, it was sponsored, but it didn't... Well, I mean, I was, like, half watching, but it looked, like, alright. Like, honestly, I'm so like... I don't mean this in a bad way, Ted. I don't mean this in a bad way. But I thought that you were, uh, I thought that you were, uh, I thought you would eat that shit up after seeing, after I saw the sponsored screen. Um.
Let me go hang out with the old people. I don't know, I mean, I... Like, are the reviews really bad on Steam or something? Oh. I mean... Okay. I was hoping for, like, Sea of Thieves, but good, finally. But I guess... I guess Ted hates all the fun parts of the game. I guess Ted just hates all the fun parts. Ted was saying it's ass. Ass he? I feel like Ted was like, hey, like skull and bones. It could be it could be peak. He's like, let me be peak. Oh, a Nintendo meme for the group chat? Really? <laughs> okay, this does not mama the Mia. Really yeah, okay. I, I see it. I see it. Oh, true, yeah, the group chat after I go to sleep. Yeah, so true, so true. That, that is so true. This is my last resort? Holy shit, like, that's the shit you do when you're... Dude, that's literally, like, what you do when, like, tear my life into pieces, when th is the vibe. Then, like, that shit is your last resort. Nick, that's a plus... Nick, I wish I could give you, like, a, a plus, like, like, two million. I wish I could give you, like, a plus two million for that one. That was pretty epic. Am I the coolest viewer? Um, no. Um, all the coolest viewers uh, have the little gift badge next to their name, and they also have um, a tier 3 sub. That's all the coolest viewers. I see. <laughs> I'm about to play PvP in Skull and Bones and I get sloppy on the slug with B-Bear. Um, and Visions of Gorgeous View. I don't know, I mean... Listen, I'm not... Like, I didn't watch a lot of it. I, I just, like, was watching it on the side. Um, and, and, I don't know, it seemed like... It seemed good. Ish. Like, I don't know. Like, like once again, I don't really, like, care for, like, sailing games. But, like, I don't know. Um, it didn't seem like ass, but that's just me. It probably doesn't have all the silly stuff. Um, yeah, but then, but I don't know. The silly stuff is uh, is me going. Boo -me, boo -me. Oh, okay. Hector, Hector was already on to me. I couldn't see because I didn't have my glasses on. I had to clean on my glasses, but, uh, yeah, I, I was like, yeah, probably, probably missing that. Oh, each player controls their own ship? Okay, well, it's ass. At least for multiplayer, like, I don't know, I, I wouldn't, yeah, I, I, you would not catch me on Skull and Bones then, for sure. Um, but yeah, if it just came out today, I was watching someone play it, like, a week ago or something. I guess they had early access because it was a sponsored stream or something. Um... But yeah. Anyway, let's enter the bookstore. Oh, you have bad timing. I don't think I've heard of that one, Hector. Or at least not off the top of my head. I rem I don't remember it. My wife just headed out to GeckoCon. I should go too. I'll wait here. Well, uh, she won't be gone long. In the meantime, why don't you keep me company? Uh, are you thirsty? Here, I I've got something we could share. <laughs> yeah, how it feels to sit on games I just never played. Yeah, the um, I like how he was like my wife's gone, and I was like, I want to go there too. Hold on, guys. What is Guns of Icarus? I feel like I've never seen that it or heard of it. Yeah, I've never seen this. I don't think I've ever seen this. It looks... 
like ass, <laughs> though. Uh, in my onion. Where the cup? My wife. Oh, Bunkichi, Bunkichi-san, are you looking for the two of cups? Because I'll have that one forever. Oh dear, you got back just in. The yeah, the cups. How many do you want, Bunkichi? Two for just the two of us? What happened? What's gotten into you, dear? Take a deep breath. You ought to know better than to walk so far at your age. Here, drink this. And here's some for you, too. Hey. Well, judging by her reaction, it seems the rumors might be true. The persimmon tree we told you about. You know, the one by the walkway at your school. My wife heard a rumor that it was going to be cut down. And she almost fainted. Do you know anything about this? Um. I'm worried. You're so sweet. <laughs> I'm worried too. I tried to look into these allegations, but I think I was barking up the wrong tree. If it's not too much trouble, could you tell us if you hear any more about it? Hmm. It's gonna be like the, the, the like the social link like crossover where I have to go to like Odagiri and be like, hey Odagiri, the student council needs to stop this tree from being chopped down. And then uh and then me and him are gonna, um, and then me and him are gonna chop down, um, a tree and we're gonna be like, uh, we're gonna be like Spongebob and Patrick in the, well, it was the Christmas episode, right? Where you go, Spongebob, Patrick, why'd you do this to me? Uh, or whatever. And they, and they chop down, they chop down his old coral tree, you know what I'm saying? You know, I never really thought about it how he had a coral tree and like it was just like coral you know i never really thought about it that way that's real as fuck that's real as fuck that they did that i didn't really when they cut mr krabs what when did they cut mr krabs did i say that no they said they like like you know you know the the it's the christmas episode right where they have the um am i crazy when did they cut mr krabs because, um, the, the coral tree is the same episode where they go, like, or at least I think it, it might even be the same song, where it's like, This Christmas feels like the very first Christmas to me. Wait, Hector, that's crazy, Hector. Why, why would someone make that? I've never seen that. Um, yeah, yeah, Nick, we were talking about how Ted needs a salute. He, he would... We were talking about the the what's it called? How there's the uh, there's the iPod shuffle in the intro. Well, it's not. It's, it's like not really. It's it's like the Nano or whatever, if anything. But you know, we, we were talking about that, and Ted said he misses his iPod shuffle, and I was like, wait, why, Ted? Like that shit's kind of ass. And if you're gonna have your phone on you while you're running, you might as well just use your phone for music. Um, but then Ted was saying he doesn't want his phone on him while he's running because he's a real man or something. And that shit, real men don't use uh, phones while running. Um, because it's like uncomfortable or something. Yo, happy Valentine's Day, Tommy. But Tommy, listen, this is something you have to understand. I thought you would understand it better than anyone. Um, gamers don't have Valentine's, we have social links. So, that's something you should keep in mind. That's something you should keep in mind, Tommy. Um. But what are you up to, Tommy? We were just talking about how you, uh, N Nick was, Nick was outing you to me. Um, about the about the meme you sent me on Insta, and then I sent it to the group chat because I'm the funniest man alive, and you'll never be that. So, but also Tommy, like, I, uh, once again, 
you could have just sent that to the group chat, but you sent it to me. Like, you wanted to pass notes, like, in front of everyone else in the class and not share with anyone else. You just wanted to pass the note to me. But, like, I wanted everyone else along the way to look at the note, too. Early one DMs, looking like Persona, where it's all I need cock. Now, my, my, my DMs be looking like Persona the way it's, like, games with, like, the stars on the side. Um... I just need 500,000 times. Any Price Master fans? Is Price Master like something like, is that like something similar to, uh, to The Price is Right? Is that like a game show? That's what it sounds like. The, you laugh, you lose challenge easy? Do you mean it's really easy to laugh and lose? Or you mean it's really hard? To, or you mean it's really hard to, or really easy to win? Uh, because you're, you're not, you would never laugh. Let me see, Ted. What the hell is this? That's not me like found footage, bro. What the fuck? Okay, I'm I'm not watching that, Ted. Ted's sending me like fucking cursed found footage. Watch it on stream, bro. I'm I feel like I'm gonna be cursed. Like I feel like like the girl from the ring's gonna come after me. Uh, Dead by Daylight reference. Um, after watching that shit, bro. My plans are to eat this egg sandwich I got. Bro, don't say that when Chef Man's here. That's fucked up. Fucked up you would say that shit. I hope Chef Man... I hope Chef Man didn't see that. Um... Ted sending you a Valentine's Day to Sadako is coming down on my PC. <laughs> Why? Chef Man... Chef Man always talks about how he wants to have an egg sandwich, but he's like... He's, a, he's either allergic to eggs or something in the eggs or something. Like, ba for basically, for one reason or another, he can't eat eggs because it, like, makes him really sick. Um, I don't know if he's, like, specifically allergic to it or it's something in the eggs or I don't know. But, or if it's, like, something else that causes that, but it, it's something like that. So, Chef Man, Chef Man's always like, I want an egg sandwich and then, um, I will never be able to have one. You'll watch it. Oh, so he needs to grow up? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Ted, I'll sew it on stream for 1,500,000 gift subs. Um, listen, Ted, maybe that'll happen someday. But that day's not today. I know I made it sound like something very important, but only if it's convenient for you. Tell us if you hear anything about the persimmon tree, all right? Dude, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go convince Odagiri to, to like, I don't know, Welcome back. to not blow up the tree. Like SpongeBob and Patrick are gonna be out there with their axes, and I'm gonna be like, Odagiri, we have to do something. Limited set meal? Are you, are you are you for real? For real? Are you? Is this on God? Oh, I keep on forgetting the seafood meal is not like there all the time. I forget that's like an exclusive thing. Um, I forget that that's like an exclusive thing. Raises charm. Well, you guys know you guys been known I'm the charming sort, so. And I'm also a gamer, guys. Happy Valentine's, everyone. After the dating simulator, high school of youth. I learned the ins and outs of romance and courtship. Hey. Hey, do you remember what we're doing today? We're gonna share our findings about the ghost stories tonight. What a pain. What? Hey, no ditching, alright? I heard some pretty interesting stories while asking around the school. Anyway, don't forget, okay? She <laughs> she hit the what? Oh, today's Friday. Did you two ask around like we agreed? No. Huh? Were we supposed to do something by today? I told you. I know, I know. I'm kidding. Man. We've got such a short. Man, what a kidder. Fine. The 
and we'll meet in the lounge after school. Fine. Don't forget. Yes, ma'am. Oh, jeez. Yo, Shortly Dono. Oh, hold up. Yo, anyone else? Anyone else want to give Shortly a Dono or, or, or just Bebe? Did I spell your name correctly? Let's sew together. I am in the hallway. Wait, wait, actually, hold up. Even though I was saying I have so many... Even though I was saying I have so many cards, let me go, uh... Let me once again go here and, uh, and, uh, go eat. Get more cards. I never felt like, like so miserable. Also, I don't know if I actually have to do this, but, like, I'll, I'll check on the tree. Gonna be cut down. Want to try its fruit? He just threw a rock at a bird resting on the branch. If he keeps that up, he might get possessed by evil spirits. But that's just a rumor, so probably not. He'd make a great detective, like like Ace Detective June Pay. Head. <laughs> What are you cooking? Are you stupid or something? Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm scared, guys. What's going on? Yeah, Ted, I get out you're on your Price Master shit, but... Oh, 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 that's the, that's the Yukari line. Sorry, I did say Ace Detective Junpei. Um... Ted, what are you even Price Mastering, Ted? Like, bro is price mastering nothing. Oh, shortly done. How do you do? If you have the time to spare, would you care to join me for sewing? Yes. I would care. You have a great sense for sewing, shortly done. Please do show me more of your skills today. So, so then, so all around. If the Koku doesn't sew, then I will show it. We should take a break for now. You have gotten much better at this. Tsubarashi, wonderful. I can do better. Or should, I say, or should I just say thanks? I can do better. Is this how Nick sees me? Bro, this is how I see myself. I feel like I'm baby. I'd be like, I want to suck your wiener. Oh, Bebe sang the vampire line. Great, great timing, Hector. He would be like, Bebe sang it would be like, I want to suck your vine. Eh? Thoughts? Thoughts? Anyway, I can do better. Ooh, so humble. That is very admirable. Kanshin. By the way, I have a question for you. I would like to make something in Japanese, but what? How about a kimono? Price master? Okay. Three hundred and fifty dollars and thirty-eight cents. How'd I do, Ted? How about a kimono? A, a kimono. A kimono! Yes! It has to be a kimono! 
but uh, kimonos are very hard to make. Oh, I'm not author authoritative enough. Three hundred and fifty dollars and thirty-eight cents. I don't really know where to start. For reference, Ted, I did not watch the video. For reference, Ted, I did not watch the video. So, like, I'm just, I'm. This is off the dome. I have to think about it, but I appreciate the advice. You are the only one I can talk to here in this country. As long as I have you, I will be okay. Daijobu. It'll be daijobu. Hey. Maybe it's gotta be the best character oh, in the game. La, la. Look at the time. Ooh la la, I'm like a uh, Victor. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Indubitably, my good sir. In freaking dubitably. Okay, as we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? Yeah, how come he's the only character in here speaking Japanese? That's a great point, Nick. That's a great point. Um... Dude, what the hell happens if you play this game in, uh, in Japanese? Like, does he speak English and then break into, and then break into, like, what? Like, like, does he speak English the whole time and then he just breaks into Japanese every once in a while? Or does he just say, like, or is he, is he always speaking Japanese and I don't know, maybe he speaks English for a second. He's like, but like, I don't know, this takes place in Japan. So like, right. He watches anime. That's true. He probably does. Um, why did the rumors spread so fast? Um, there were three victims. Correct. But yeah, I was surprised when I found out. Ah, uh, he probably just speaks like an anime dub. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot more sense, probably. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. The victims were all in different classes. And at first glance, they don't seem to be connected. But what happens if you're playing the game in French? Actually, never mind. That's probably a stupid question. He probably just speaks French and then, and then says Japanese stuff. Like when he says Ichiban, like I don't remember talking about Yakuza. <laughs> but they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? What is this? A quiz show? Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? Um, all of them wanted to eat their dinner. They. Th did they go to our school? Hey, yeah, they went to our school. Yeah. Come on. I tried my best. Hello. We already know that. <laughs> they hung out together, dummy. That you're eating out a lot? You mean at a restaurant, right? Uh oh. Not just once or twice either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. Someone didn't do their research? Tommy, we don't need their research. Listen, I thought... Um... So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. Dude, I'm not even following what's going on, dude. I thought I thought Fuka was one of the people. So I was like, well, Fuka doesn't have any friends, but she does go to our school. What? Field research? Yep. There's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, 
you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. You're coming with. Sorry, count me out. Of course. Now we're talking. Oh, man. I don't know about this. That place is seriously bad news. Do we really have to go there? Up until now, all we've done is follow orders. Isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves? I know what you mean, but... Yeah, Pums was it in the man. teeth chattering. He was like... Yeah, I'm looking at the covers. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm scared to make... We'll go tomorrow night, so plan accordingly. I'm, like, I know it probably didn't matter, but I'm scared to say the funny one sometimes because, like... I'm like, bro, what if I say, like, no, and then, like, I don't, like, beat this boss or some shit? Like, I skip this boss, so one, I get, like, no XP. Two, like, I don't get the Major Arcana card. Like, three, like, Yukari dies or some shit, you know? I'm like, I'm like, what if that just happens? If I say no. It's not that deep? No, I know. I mean, like, I, I, I know it's probably not, but, like, I get worried sometimes. Jeez. See, I told you it wasn't a ghost story. There's no way they exist. Or, or I'm afraid I'm gonna get the fucking the Akechi ending like I did in P5. Like I'm gonna be like, nah, I don't want to go. And then I'm gonna get, and then someone's gonna walk into dorms and fucking put a gun to my head and blow my brains out. But not like an evoker, like a real gun. Junpei is the freaked out one. Yeah, he's always freaked out. Don't worry about it. Wait, so are we doing this tomorrow? Oh, okay, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Um, okay. I saw pics of Junpei eating on Twitter this morning. Eating what? Oh, eating the ramen? That's nice. House of the Deceased. Ooh. As long as you need. Oh, I know, no new here. gear. All done here. I just wanted to double check since we're gonna be. Uh, I'm assuming, like, if we go there tomorrow, like, we're gonna have to fight some real shit or something. So, um, do I want to play House of the Deceased or do I want to eat this? This is for brains, right? Yeah, it says healthy, right? This, oh, healthy brain, yeah. So this is... Oh, now I do House of the Deceased. Why not? I could use some brain. Oh, Tommy, th these guys these guys want brain. You know what I'm saying? The jump scares didn't phase me, and I calmly dispatched many zombies. I'm such a gamer. Yeah, don't you guys think I'm a little courageous for that? How come Makoto's portrait is like that? Uh, I don't know, Ted. I mean, that's a great question. I, I don't really... I don't really have an answer for you. I have to remember that I have plans tonight. You're so brave, streamer. Thanks, Ted. Okay, buddy. A gift for Shorely Chan. I tried using emojis. Isn't that rad? Totally gnarly. I'll teach you how to use them too, so come by the shop. Okay, buddy. The fucking Tommy. What if it was House of the Spider? <laughs> yeah, Tommy, this is you. I want to play a lot today. And eat takoyaki too. He did, Hector. He did hit that at the end of the message. <laughs> Toys! <laughs> okay, who wants to play cleanup? You know what, Tommy? Tommy. <laughs> what? Tommy, we can play today, Tommy. It's alright. Oh, wait. Well, here, this will take me to the shrine, right? So I can go get my card.
the monkey bars. Tommy, you didn't like the monkey bars last time. You were really upset with me when last time I, I, I suggested the monkey bars. <laughs> clean up, clean up, everybody do your part. <laughs> Hector, is that the shit you begin turned up to? <laughs> oh, hi, do you want to hang out with us today? Bro, who's us? Who are you talking about? Yeah, you okay, then let's all play together. Why is Ted here? Why, why is Ted here in his like nightcap and fucking like this is Ted getting out of bed with his nightcap and his candle in his hand and his fucking striped pajamas. He's got like, like I don't know, like Ted just woke up. New goaded social link? I can social link Ted? That's awesome. You don't look so good. Are you sick? Sick in the head. Yes. I'm surprised you could tell. Huh? You really are sick? <laughs> no. I was kidding. You're so easy, Maiko. No fair! I trusted you! Don't tease me just because I'm a kid! This guy looks awesome, Teddy. He looks like you. you. I'm Maiko's friend. So you're the one oh, so true. Ted does lie all the time. You look like this? Yeah, Ted, like, Ted, imagine him, like, in this same outfit, but he had a little nightcap on and a candle in his hand. Like, that's you waking up in the middle of the night to, uh, I don't know, to find, find the, the ghost in your house or whatever. Whatever you do in the middle of the night. Yeah, and, and some glasses. But I, fi I figured if Ted's waking up in the middle of the night, he's not putting on his glasses, you know? see yourself as her guardian or are you simply two children playing together we're just we just love playing together i love playing games I'm hungry now i want takoyaki takoyaki you can eat with us too stripey no i'll pass thanks see you later what why doesn't stripey want to play with me yeah ted why don't you want He's gone. I usually see him around the shrine on Sundays. I pass by on the way to cram school. Okay, it's takoyaki time! Takoyaki time, yay! <laughs> yeah, Ted waking up in the, at like 3 a.m. with his candle in hand. Like, wait, where's the anime night? <laughs> Guys, why did we stop anime night after one episode of FMAB? And where'd everyone go? Is that funny to you? That's fucked up. No wonder he wants a divorce. Because I put too many in his mouth at once. You did that? I, I should have told her that it was her fault her parents are getting divorced, bro. What the flip? It was like... Oh. Dad hasn't been coming home much these I wonder the fuck why! It's my birthday soon. Do you think you'll come home and see me? No! He'll probably forget, dumbass! Don't worry, he'll be there. Smile. You really think so? Wait, they have like the sad ass beat. You know, Tommy, you mentioned this the other day, how there was no sad ass beat for when I told her her parents are getting divorced or whatever. I mean, it's her fault. Now I see why people were memeing on it. Because I didn't realize that... Um, I didn't realize that there was sad music in this game like this. Uh, if I knew this... Yeah, this is my first time hearing it, Tommy. So that's really funny. Because I was like, oh, it's... Like, I was thinking, I was like, oh, it's probably just because, like, they didn't have the music or whatever. But that's really funny. You really think so? Yeah, because I just lied to a little kid. So fucking true, Ted. My mom always gives me presents on my birthday. Dude, Stripey's gonna be like her dad or some shit. 
She hasn't asked me what I want this year yet. Grippy's gonna be her new dad. This kind of sounds like I am ballin, I am faded. I could, I could hear it a little bit. You wouldn't get a divorce. You're the only one who spends time with me. Yeah, Tommy, I was thinking the same thing. See you later, okay? <laughs> this divorce seems pretty strong. Don't worry, Maiko. I'll take care of this one. Yeah, Tommy, I'm sorry to hear that about, uh, it's time. you know, about your parents. But I, I hope you had some good takoyaki. And we got to play, you know. And, e and even Ted was there. Shouldn't we talk about this some more? I still think this is a bad idea. <laughs> it's all good. We gotta play. Yay. How are you scared of ghosts, but totally fine with this? Because stuff you can't see is way creepier. Actually, I'm more worried about the things I can't see. Like bats. And knives. <laughs> Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. Come on. Let's strike while the iron's hot. Strike? Yeah, strike hard. You're like baseball, so true. About this? Strike! You're out! Yeah, okay, Ted. Okay, Ted. I, I knew your next line, buddy. You can call me Joseph Joestar if you want, the way I knew your next line. Seriously? Going to the place like that at night is not so easy for a stand-up guy like me. Jeez. Stop complaining already. It'll be nothing. All we have to do is take the monitor out to the station. What's so hard about that? That's not exactly what I meant by not easy. You know, Yucatan, you might actually be scarier than the punks we're bound to run into. If you're a stand-up guy, hit the comedy club. Okay, okay, buddy. Dude, we're done for. I, I would always talk to these guys and they'd be like, yo, if people come here in their school uniforms, like, we're gonna kill them. And here we all are in our school uniforms. Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh, man. This is even worse than I think. Yo, Junpei, you take the left, I'll take the right. Try not to break all their bones. You must have taken a wrong turn. Is this place ain't for you, buddy. Uh, well, uh, I saying is being here is ruining our vibe <laughs> light yagami and get to Suguru, you think so light yagami and like the track suit Beat it, go and get to Suguru, like wearing the uh i don't know he's got like the gold chain around his neck i could see that goatee oh you mean me we don't need your permission to be here hey are you nuts <laughs> no, no. No, Junpei. Her family's nuts. Her her neighbor's an asshole. It like come on, come on, Junpei. She's not nuts. Her family's nuts. It'll be fine. I can read just fine. Come on. Don't be intimidated by these punks. What'd you just say? She just called us punks. Come on. Let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Yuko, like we're not scared of you. Bums will take you all. All while the eight foot tall thug stares you down. Didn't pay my family's nuts and these guys are assholes. Hope you've been practicing your sexy poses. What? <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. W was that like a really good one? Was that a spot hitter? These guys are scum. Oh, so now we're scum, huh? Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? Ow! Ow! Junpei. 
Jimmy Pig's gonna get out. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I thought I thought he was gonna be like, yeah, she is, but then he just got punched, so he probably can't say that. But like, I'm surprised. I thought he was just gonna be like, yeah, she is. You boys take care of her. That's enough, Akihiko. I didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. You good with that? <laughs> he, he's guy from- No, who do you think you are? Bro, that's guy from the other day. You don't remember him? Come on, that's guy from the other day. Come on. You're gonna act like you don't remember guy from the other day? They're not walking out of this. You want some too? Jeez. Crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? It'll be fine. Should we find out? Uh. <laughs> no. Maybe not. <laughs> oh man, you're a loser. Bastard. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah. Now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High too, aren't you? Damn it, you're gonna regret this! I know, like, literally we saw him the other day, and these guys are gonna act like they don't know him? Oh man, senpai! That was awesome! Ed but Junpei too. I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. <laughs> Junpei, pull out your great sword. Did Aki tell you know, you that, that, that's something that is funny about this game. Is I mean, it was also like this in P4, I believe. But, like, the weapons we use in the, the Shadow World or Tartarus is quite literally, like, real weapons, right? Um, like, like, Junpei legitimately has a great sword. Like, it's not like, oh, this is like a fake great sword. Like, he legitimately has one. Oh, is it? Is that what it is? I thought P5 they are toys, not P4. I thought P4 they were real. That's why you go to, like, jail and shit. Um. You're making shit up for the sake of toys? But you could have said P5, because P5, like, the guns, I know, are definitely toys. And I think the daggers are, too, and stuff. Um. And then... Um... But P4, remember you go to jail because you have like you bought like weapons. Um. But yeah, uh, gonna fucking scream. I asked my mom what she wants me to cook for dinner later, and uh, and my dad pipes up about how we have leftovers in the fridge, and then goes on a rant about Valentine's as a special occasion. Well, Chef Man, I think your dad's just a real gamer. Um, because gamers don't have Valentine's; they have social links. Um, so. Yeah, so Tommy, I, I know Tommy, I know it might hurt your soul, Tommy, but you're going to have to get really excited. Uh, Tommy, you're going to have to get really excited for P5 uh, toys. I, I know you, I know you're a P5 hater, but like, you know, there's toys in it. I mean, uh, you know, it makes sense that P5 has toys, considering that's the game that's for little children who uh, can't understand uh, anything about anything. They just like toys. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait, but I like toys. Oh, um, Tommy, I meant, I meant P5s for people who are so mature that they really like toys, uh, and they love playing with their toys. That's what I meant to say. Was that like P5s for people who are really mature and grown up who like playing with toys? <laughs> Hi, Shinjiro. Um. Yeah, Nick, we just got here. Yeah, chef man, that's rough. You, you should tell him that. Uh, you should tell him that if he uh, if he keeps on doing that, um, or or I, I guess I guess to your mom too. You should just let him know that they're gonna that you're you really ruin the social link. You're you're ruining the social link vibes. Every year I get Steam gifts for my birthday, but no toys. Yeah, Tommy, I'm sorry, Tommy. If I was in person, you know, I'd get you probably like 
I mean, Tommy, I don't want to spoil it. Like, like, come on. I, I, I might, you know, I, I still might get this for you, Tommy. But, you know, I was thinking last year for your birthday, I really wanted to get you one of those, uh, you know, one of those toys where they have, like, the giant, it's like the big pole, and you get, you get to put all the rings on, and you have to put them on in the right order, so it, so it makes up a ring tower. I wanted to get you one of those, but I was like, well, you know, I, did, you know, I'm not going to see Tommy in person to give it to him, so I might as well just get him, like, I might as well just get him, like, you know, nothing, and so I got you nothing. But don't worry, Tommy. Don't worry, Tommy. Next time, next time I see you, Tommy, I'll make sure I get you. I get you a lot of toys. Um. Oh, you're in and out like the burger. Ah. Uh -huh. Bro's making breakfast at 1 p.m. That goes hard. Early one pilled. Uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? <laughs> yes, that's right! How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. Also, Tommy, I, I, you said I like P5, but it's just not your favorite? Yeah, but that's something like... Here's the thing, Tommy, is you can't, like, just... It's like me with Bloodborne, like... Like, I don't even like Bloodborne. Like, I don't even like Bloodborne at all. That shit's, like, probably one of the worst games I've ever played in my entire life. Um, you know? Like, I, I, I like Dark Souls. Um, but Bloodborne, that's probably, like, the worst shit ever. You, you can not... There's no middle ground, Tommy. You're, like, acting like you can be, like... Like, you can't, you can't be like that. You can't be like that, Tommy. You have to pick a side. Um, it either has to be Ass Assington or Peak Peakington. Yeah, it's all or nothing, exactly. It's Ass Assington or Peak Peakington, that's it. Oh, that's what Ken says, so true, it's all or nothing. And then he whips his super. They brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? <laughs> no, they're picking her nose. Nice. No one even said the viewer this time, but he's still yapping, bro. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what else to say. I have to let it all out. I have to let it all out. I finally pooped after three days. Dirty and stirred on. <laughs> Ted, Ted, I know you've been letting it all out on your bed sheets. Ted, I, I, I know you've been letting it all out on your bed sheets. Or, or sorry, your, your, just, like, your actual mattress. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Ted. <laughs> yeah, Tommy, did you help Ted? Uh, did you help Ted, Ted solve that issue? And bro, I got the entire Ninja Turtle squad today. <laughs> You guys don't know? Yamagishi Yamagishi girl dead. Be dead. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. And <laughs> Ted, your bed sheets are a mess? No, Tommy, Ted, Ted yesterday was like, guys, you want to look at my bed or some shit? And... and <laughs> <laughs> oh god, he it was so funny. It was so funny, bro. Bro literally he 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 pooped it on his bed and then fucking and then wiped his ass doggy style across the entire the entirety of the bed. Like it was just a straight straight skid mark from like the top to the bottom of his bed all the way across it. So it'll be fine. You mean she's still missing? So much for that ghost story. Mr. Akota is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about it? It's just dirt, I swear. Yeah, okay, buddy. Talk to the judge. I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can let go. Hmm? Ted wanted a race car bed, but had to make do. <laughs> Nothing. Anyways, it's all I know. We done here? Yeah, totally. Yeah, make do. Make do do. <laughs> Come on. 
show some appreciation. Um, you really saved us. Just don't come around here again. Bro, they got Mahjong you, here and they got, uh, what's it called? Dude, I, I do want to come back here. That was really nice of you. Huh? <laughs> he wanted the bed to look like Nick's Benny plush. Yeah, he wanted to have a new home for it. Oh, uh, sorry. Just don't come here again. <sighs> Why is he not like the Ezumar who, who, uh, uh, Shinjiro? I mean, what'd he say? You're listening to ASMR that's telling- you're, you're listening to, uh, you're t to ASMR that tells you just don't come here again. Hector's like, looks- Hector's like looking up like, like, the Yakuza goon just gooned me. Um, and now he's, I don't know, telling me to get out of here and not come around again. <laughs> Like, you just got gooned by the Yakuza goon. Now you have to beat it, bitch. Dude, I'm drenched in cold sweat. But man, what Aragaki-san told us was shocking, huh? Oh. I like to read Joseph and know what we found out about Yamagishi-san. <laughs> Hector ass naked in the room waiting for Shinjiro's permission. <sighs> the fact that she's missing is no small matter. And we're totally gonna get yelled at. Or, uh, doing that without permission. I can already see it happening. Give me a break. Going to a place like that, there are limits to how reckless you can be. I mean, I'm proud of you guys for trying to gather information, but be a little more careful next time. Yeah, you can't make me. Um. Now you know, next time have a little more faith in what I say. Anyways, there's no way in hell I'm ever set in a place like that again. Um, can I just like do stuff now? Hey. Hmm. If only I could find someone who'd steal our client's hearts. Right here. Uh I need to be smooth. Hmm. Is, um... <laughs> I need to be smooth, start shaving? Okay, buddy. Um... Hmm. You're the answer! Like... Like, Persona 3? Thoughts? That shit's like Persona 3. Like, good answer! No, Ted, not like that, Ted. You're getting it twisted now. Oh, this just wants me to do the, the thing. I don't want to do the thing yet. You know that fortune teller, the one they call Den Mother or Mama? She's got a very weird presence, like she's in another world. No, Ted, the answer was for, uh, was for academics, Ted. That shit won't make me smooth. That shit will make me smooth brain. Um, that will not make me smooth. Ooh. No, the dating sim is like high school love, tech and tag too. Why? Uh, let's just say Monday morning always comes too soon. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stink here, but uh, let's just say I'm stinking up the place. Oh, you know, I could do the eating challenge, right? I mean, I think that's courage, but courage, courage is also pretty good. Yeah, give me the big eater challenge. <laughs> Monday morning always comes too soon. Man, fuck school. I'm just trying to go.
At work, wanting to play Yakuza 8, but island side mode has me by the balls. I mean, I mean, Hector, that's still playing Yakuza 8. I'm gonna, I'm gonna glance at the pile of burgers. Instead of flavor each bite, only brings more pain. Bro, I'm the wasteful sort. That makes me really courageous. Dude, it's courageous to be this wasteful in a public restaurant. Although I couldn't finish it, I feel like I've grown just by taking the challenge. It gives you basically nothing? Don't you get earn money from it, Hector, or nah? It's not like it's not like the cabaret clubs or whatever where you earn money from it. Or like the real estate even. Not too much. Not too much yet, eh? Yo, baby. the shopping show. Oh, and my crops are ready. It's amazing commodities! I'm going to do it. He's going to do it. Good, good. Perfume. Not bad. And health supplement? That's a steal. That's a steal. I'm buying it. We're buying it. Boom. Thanks, kid. Next time, we'll be introducing a Father's Day campaign. Bye-bye. Maya. Maya's here, guys. Um... But Bebe's also free. Guys, we have to choose between Bebe or Maya. Is she? I feel like it might just be days off, period. Because I remember, like, I did her like four, like I went to my like three or four days in a row, but it might have been during like Golden Week, maybe. So it might just be days off. You did her? Yeah, I did her a favor in 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 uh, Innocent Sin Online. You know what I'm saying? Um... Oh, but Maya's not even gonna level up, though. Well, I guess Bebe wouldn't either, right? Can I go to these places now? Now that I'm a bad boy, or no? I wanna be a bad boy. Nah, I guess not. No, no, Ted. I think those are unrelated. I'm pretty sure people have said that social links just work like that in this game where you, uh... What the fuck? Oh. I'm just kidding. We were just talking about you. Amadaku. Um. Oh, shit. Nice to meet you, my name is- Dude, I- I literally was like, wait, is this Junpei Yukari and someone else? Like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, I thought it was like a family, and then I was like, wait, why is it Yukari and Junpei? I attend Gekkan Elementary School. You're very polite. Yeah, I think it's pretty normal to greet someone new like that. Elementary school kids these days seem more grown up, huh? I'm not a good drop for the shrine pretty often. It's close to our dorm, you know, so if you ever see him, say hello. Oh yeah, but Ted, I think certain social links just require you to do certain other ones first. 
Because, like, that's how I unlocked Bebe, that's how I unlocked, uh... The Tanaka, that's how I unlocked, the. Uh, I think the Hero might have been one like that. Or maybe it was Odagiri. One of them was off the other. Um... Yes, Ted. Ted, we've been making that joke since day one, bro. Get with the program. I'ma log on now. There's one more? I mean, it's probably like someone I'm gonna find eventually. I probably need to hang out with Kenji more, a little bit. Maybe, maybe Miyamoto a little more. Maybe Chihiro a little more. Maybe Yuko. Well, I think Yuko... Maybe I didn't get one from Yuko yet. And I mean, I know there's... I know there's the guy from this. I already have the guy from this. I just don't... I haven't met with him. Um... But yeah, like, it, it's gotta be... I, I feel like it might be Kenji. Because track team technically is Yuko, right? Unless they would do Yuko and... Unless they do Yuko and Miyamoto, both have one. Like, Chihiro should have been tied to Odagiri. I already unlocked one. Yeah, th this was, uh, this was Ted. We unlocked Ted from this, but we haven't hung out with him yet. And then Bebe was from... The old people, the old couple. So I'd imagine it's Kenji. I would imagine it's Kenji, right? That's what it seems like all, all signs are pointing to. And let's use a second one for Miyamoto. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying. I, it, I, I think it's probably like. It, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. It's probably Kenji. Like it's probably someone I haven't hung out with a lot, which would be like Kenji, <laughs> you know. Um, so then, no, you don't need to confirm or deny it, no. Oh. Uh, can you free up your day tomorrow for me? There's a lot to be done for Fuka Yamagishi's case. I'm gonna require Please. your assistance. If you have any urgent affairs, and I suggest you settle them by the end of today. I don't know if you get more from calendar date or something. I don't I don't know what you're trying to say. Um Yeah, get people to four and five, yeah. I mean I like like I said, like it could literally probably be any of these people that are at like three, I feel like. I mean, let me think. Maybe there's an Odagiri one. And I, I kinda wanna hang out with Odagiri. But Oh, if more come in later. Oh, okay. Um, Mitsuru wants me to clear my schedule? Like, grow up. I don't want to clear my schedule for you. Oh, you know, I've, I have I have computer stuff, right? I want to spend time on my food here. Um, actually, you know what? They have the special meal. I should probably save the computer stuff for when I have nothing else to do, right? But I could get this today. And that's probably pretty... Like, like this is just two academics, I think, which is fairly good, I feel. Or save the computer stuff for when I'm broke. And I can't afford this shit. It's like where I forget where I am in the message. <laughs> yep. So, we're supposed to gather in front of the faculty office during lunch. What's this about? You serious? You're supposed to ask about. We're supposed to ask about Fukuyamagishi, remember? 
but asking Mr. Okoda for an explanation felt like a total pain in the ass. This is so lame, especially compared to when we get had that going to us poppy on the station that night. Oh, Kirijo Senpai. Why are you here? Same reason you are. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! Please, I... I never thought it'd turn out this way, Fuka. Hey, I remember you. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kiri Jokun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Hmm. Kiriyama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she she always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized she may be a model student, but deep down she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. We were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? That's not funny. That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so she went back to the school by herself. But she never came back. And the next morning, she was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every mm. night, another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Indubitably. Mr. Okoda, all this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. Dude, she was like... But yeah. the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Dude, they were like, okay, we locked her in the gym. They, they did that for a whole day, bro? Like, what's she gonna do in the gym the whole day? Like, what if she starves to death? And then they were like, yeah, we were we worried she was gonna kill herself. Like, oh, oh, okay. Like, now you're worried after you locked her in the gym all night? Oh, okay. Explain yourself. I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of Oh, everyone. she killed herself by not eating. Yeah, they were like, yeah, we were worried she was going to commit suicide by not eating because there's no food in the gym. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class and not because you didn't want the police involved. It, it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Despicable. Wait, ain't that me? Despi- No, I, I didn't mean, uh, I, I was just- uh... That's enough. You can go now, we'll handle the rest. <laughs> bro thinks he's grew. Wait, but- <laughs> when there are rotten adults in Persona. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. <laughs> anyway, guys. Who, uh... Who can't wait to, about uh... About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? I'm... I'm... I'm gonna change your heart! Um... <laughs> um... Anything at all? <sighs> I'm a goofy goober! Oh, uh, no, 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 no. A voice. A creepy no, voice. No, no, no. I'm not a goofy goober. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it, calling their name. Oh, man. Tweaking Makoto? So Makoto's not tweaking. Makoto's so chill. Why does this lady sound like she's 40? Who, the, the, the student in the chair? I mean, she's, like, going through it right now. It's them. Or do you mean Mitsuru? Point. Mitsuru is supposed to sound like she's 40 because he's rich. Up until now, and the student council president. Predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. Welcome to the stream, Sonny. This must be the key. How are you doing? In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. 
I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. How is she gonna tell us without leaving her room? Don't worry. Yamagishi should be alright as well. They had our dorm tonight. Ooh la la. Now, dude, our dorm is like... Our dorm is like the Left 4 Dead safe house. Like, you wouldn't get it, Sonny. That, it, 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 it's not like that. It's not like, oh, like let, let, let's have a sleepover. Let's have a slumber party. It, it's literally like... Like, this shit is like the Left 4 Dead safe house. <laughs> the Left 4 Dead safe house is the place to get it? I mean, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I guess so. Luca. Wait, why didn't he say that? Yori and Takeba too. Oh, so she... Oh, curious how she didn't say my name, but she said Junpei's and Yukari's. Strange. I heard the why does she sound like she's 40 and thought it was a Tommy message. <laughs> we'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. Indubitably. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? Are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into anime ruined me. I'm looking at everyone's eyes. I'm like, why are they so small? They're normal sized. <laughs> exactly. Oh, see, I was gonna ask the same thing. Yukari's Yukari's like me for real, for real. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Wait, you mean Yamagishi san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym? That's right. Dude, Fuka must be pretty strong if she's been in Tartarus for like three days straight now. But that was ten days Oh, ago. ten days. Holy shit. Yo. Fuka must be pretty strong if she's been ten... No this is like Five Nights at, at Freddy's, but double it and give it to the next person. Yeah, Fuka seems pretty strong. That's what I'm saying. Ten days in Tartarus straight and she's alive? Well, you know, maybe she's alive. Presumably she's alive. Don't oh yeah, Junpei was spitting. Jun Junpei was spitting. Junpei was like, "She's uh, she's dead." They wouldn't kill a person. I mean, they kill people in Persona all the time. Like fucking or Persona Four, people were just dead, like being thrown in like the fucking what was it? Like it was on the power lines and shit. Like right, like people people were just dead and thrown into the power lines all the time. Okay, they wouldn't. Okay, well they wouldn't do that then. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? Oh, those people are fine? Okay. Um. Tartarus only appears. It doesn't exist? Nah, nobody knows, bro. Nobody knows. That's a good point. This is just a theory. Oh! I think time is Akihigo saying that she only is there? She's only been there for, what, 10 hours? Because there's only one dark hour? Every day. So even though it's been ten days for us, boom! It could have only been ten hours. He's cooking. There's a chance she's still alive. Wow, you think so? That's true, and like, yeah, half the people in this game are like zombies. Wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us, how could she last ten days worth in there? Uh, because she's pretty strong. That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? It'd be dope if we get there and Fuka's just like murdering shadows. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. Like Fuka should be like level like 50. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. 
is that really gonna work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. We could end up lost in paradise. I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her. I never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. Yeah, but Nick, also, like, I'm gonna be honest, Nick. I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be completely real with you. Um, Nick, I don't think your ass could survive 10 days in Tartarus. So if, if this was like, if, if fucking, if we were in college and, and SMT pulls up and he's like, yo, Cam, I think, uh, I think Nick's been in Tartarus for 10 days now. I'd be like, bro, he's fucking dead. Like, I am not going to Tartarus tonight. What the fuck? Senpai? <laughs> <laughs> um. Aki and Mitsuru do have the most experience with this. Yeah, but even Mitsuru is trying to bitch out of this, to be honest. Lost in Tartarus, another day faded out. Can you get good head in Tartarus? Um. Alright. Yeah. Probably. We know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right, and we won't know until we try. Guess we're sneaking in. It's, it's about the company you bring to Tartarus. <laughs> in that case, I've got just the thing. You do? What does Junpei have? No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Ten hours in the and I'm putting those hand shadows to work. Well, that's not a big deal, right? There is one issue. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set. All set? Unexplosive? There is no way. All right. There is no oh, way yes. Junpei has a fucking, like, bomb! There's no time to waste. Let's go. I thought Junpei was gonna be like, oh yeah, I stole like the key from like the principal's office. You're telling me he got a fucking An bomb? Explosive? Uh oh, okay. No. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. All I did was unlock a door. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was gonna say there's no way Junpei's about to pull up like the fucking the C4. No problem. Man, I'm a genius. Game almost talks as much as Borderlands pre-sequel. Sunny, it's Persona. What do you expect? Is there really something to brag about here? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. We oui, good job. Bro, they they want to be Bebe so bad. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? They think they're him. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, what? Trey Ben? Is that French or something? Why are they talking in different languages anyway? Can we turn on the lights? Aw, you scared? No, I'm not. Stupid. What? Hey, that's uncalled for. That's what I'm saying. Quiet. We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. Junpei xenophobic? No, I think Junpei's just upset that they're just saying random ass shit in front of him. I don't know. Imagine you're like trying to save some girl who's possibly dead in the middle of the night, and you're spending your entire night trying to save this girl who might be dead that you didn't want to help save in the first place, and then everyone who convinced you to do it just started speaking other languages. Pray Ben, me at the EG cafeteria. Nice one, Hector. Plus two. Oh yeah, also I don't really think he knows Shulk, so how could he be xenophobic? I don't really like sneaking around. Well first we have to find the key to the Maybe key. he doesn't like Xenoverse, Ted. The faculty office or the janitor's room. The school security guard when he sees five kids with guns? Yeah, so true. 
You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? Fine by me. So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> yeah, okay, Junpei. Maybe I should go to the faculty office, too. It sounds interesting. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? No, Mitsuru. You don't have to be there. I suppose you'll need to be What the flip? Hey, come on. Obviously, I was choking. <laughs> Mitsuru has supervision? All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Yori, you're coming with us. All right, let's get this over with. Wait, it's just me and Yukari, bro? We're cooked. We're fucking done for, bro. If there's a shadow in there, we're fucking dead. Do you hear something? What? There's someone else here? Oh, I was supposed Wait, to drop a fat one in the bathroom? Security guard. One half. Think it's a ghost? Uh, of course I don't. We already know it's not a ghost. And besides, I'm not that afraid of. <coughs> M my phone. Why now? You're telling me the security guard didn't hear that shit? And of course, it's just spam. I mean, that would freak most people out, right? Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. You get scared so easily. This is Tommy. This is Tommy. Tom. This is like the Tommy line. I'm like, that was so cute. Anyway, you get scared so easily. All right, fine. I'm a chicken. Happy? <laughs> She's a chicken. <laughs> hey. Wait, how am I supposed to take a shit? Yeah, that's like Tommy wants to go on lethal, dude. That's why I want to go on lethal. What? What? Is that it? Bro, I've been dropping fat ones. Well, I'm into the security guard. No, no, it's so dark. I can barely read these. What does it say on this one? Jim. Really? Let me see. Yeah, this is it. I'm sure they won't mind if we borrow Morgue? This. Ted, that's not the fuck it would. That, that's if we were at like at my college, bro. And we'd be looking at the key. We'd be we'd be doing this shit at my college, and it'd be like, oh, here's the morgue key to the fucking morgue that's underneath one of the the teaching halls. Um. In the OG of the game, there was no BG music, and it hit diff. Um. You could just say you're really scared, Nick. If you were really scared because there was no music, you could just say that. Not that it hit diff. Well, Ted, the difference is, is that ours is like, it was like abandoned a uh, basement of one of the buildings because apparent, apparently they used to teach um, like mortuary sciences or whatever, like in the basement. So it was, it was just unused, um, which made it scarier. Uh, 
Uh, oh, Ted was with the magicians. Yeah, Ted. Ted wouldn't. Ted wouldn't really get it. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. Wait, did, did the security guard just come in here and then like did leave? You find the key? Why does a high school even need a like? Am I crazy, guys? High schools don't even have like security guards for the middle of the night, do they? You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to take this outside? Guys, come on. All right. We'll divide into teams a again. Private school, mate. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. That does seem kind of crazy. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. I'd be glad to help. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukatan. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. Yeah, we got the boys only squad. What? What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Uh, no, no. it's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. Um, Nick spinning about the no music though. I would have caught. I would have been caught throwing it back to the beat. Yeah, dude. The I... the uh, the security guard would have been like uh, looking around with the uh, flashlight, and he would have seen me throwing it back past the uh, like the pillar, past the column, or whatever we were hiding behind. That's right. I... Bravo. Ted, what are you talking about? Grow up. <laughs> the clock? It was at midnight, Ted. Does that happen at the Super Bowl? Alone, after all. Who <laughs> could? Why did we tell I, her? I have to go to school. Usher was singing during the dark hour? No, he wasn't. Tell her I'm sorry. Oh, God. Why did we tell her to go to our dorm if we're not going to be there even? So. We still haven't heard back from them. The transmission range is at max, too. I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. The been known streamer doesn't like soup. Uh, uh. But we couldn't risk bringing her here, and having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. But why do we need two of them on navigation duty? Like, what's going on with this? Well, we are all here for Yamagishi sons. I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? Oh, that's probably true, Ted. That's probably Akihiko. true. Come in, Akihiko. Uh, is he out of range? But. But I need healing. Well, actually, your card gets one shot anyway, but like, she's also my healer. I must have lost consciousness. Oh, did we all, did we all drop in random Fortnite spots? Oh, sheesh. Are you awake? <laughs> Ted says I have gotta go yeah to the restaurant when they ask him about the super salad. Plus two, Hector, plus two. Oh no, Aki does have Daya, you're right. But he doesn't have 
Ned Dyer. This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Why are you here? I told you, remember? I'm always with you. But we don't have much time to talk. Wait, hold up. Let me think. Let me think real quick. So if this guy is me, it's his, his left eye has the birthmark under it. But my left eye is the one that I can see, and I don't see the birthmark. Tonight, there is more than one. So it, I don't know. This probably can't be me. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. See you. I hope we meet again. He couldn't be me. Un unless the main character got his birthmark like surgically removed. Are you up right? Guy telling him, you're not me! Uh, I don't know if I want to do that, Nick. That sounds like a terrible idea. I mean, like... I definitely don't see a birthmark. Unless it's, unless it's my right eye, but it's his left eye, right? Unless I'm stupid. So, like, it should be this eye that I can see a lot. And I don't see no birthmark. You guys shouldn't be trying to fight these guys while I'm solo. Oh, everything's reverse when you look in a mirror. So true. Oh wait, these guys are extremely weak foes. This is about to be the in infinite grind in nature room. Oh, I got like zero XP for that. I should I should have taken the money because I think the money's like a flat amount, not like a uh, percentage amount. Who's there? Oh, I'm here. It's me. Boom! Guys, I knew putting counter on every single persona was going to be useful. Why would you solo Tartarus? Um, does the XP like not get split or something? Or am I missing something? Or like, like, sorry, does XP like evenly split or something? Oh, really? That's interesting. I didn't realize it worked like that. Yeah, Jack Frost. You know I had a, you know I had to grab him in the OG game at least. Okay. Yeah, because I kind of just assumed whatever the number was was like. I kind of just assumed whatever the number was was going to everyone. But if you're saying it splits it between everyone, that's kind of crazy. I never realized it. That, I, I never even thought that's how it would work. Like I never considered that to be honest. Like, Bill Nye sometimes be asking me to consider the following, but I never considered that shit. I mean, more Magician XP would be kinda goaded. Jack Frost. And Jack-o-lantern, yay! Can he go up two levels? Wait, birthday present. Oh, oh, for doing that thing. I got jack tight. Anyone else trying to jack tight their shit? Or just me? Where am I? Why am I here? Please, answer me. Oh, you're in Tartarus. And you're here because you were locked in the gym at night. I'll go away. 
Dude, why am I running into the level 2 Merciless Maya, bro? I guess I didn't want your ass getting hard stuck at, uh... Like, on the solo segment, but, like... These guys look like Price Master. You think so, Ted? You have more experience. I love, I love leveling up. Wait, so what the hell is Jack Tight? Hold up. It houses the power of a persona with the name Jack. Indubitably. Maybe I can unlock a new persona or something now? You put it on, you have to kill chaos? Okay, buddy. Jack tight? How about I get the jack loose, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can get Jack, but he's a bad persona since he can't get XP with you. Plus two, plus two. Nick, I read that. I read that in my in, in my mind palace first, and I was like, what? Why wouldn't the persona get experience with me? And then I and then and then it hit me. You know? You know, just like just like how I was wondering about why my frisbee wasn't coming back, and then it hit me. Any getters? Please answer me. Hi. Boomerang? No. No, I don't mean that. Nick, you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. See, clearly you're not a getter, Nick, because uh, you would have never asked a stupid question like that if you got it. Hey, that's Fuka saying that. That's not Mitsuru, that's Fuka. No, well, well Mitsuru is like, yeah, I. I'm being hacked. I'm going through a tunnel. Um, but yeah, Nick, I, I did mean boomerang. Um, <laughs> but it, but it, I, I just wanted to twist it so you got really confused for a couple seconds. I just wanted to sugarcoat it a little bit, you know? I forgot! Oh, wait, it, it, it's not the same hey, for the cutscene, but Junpei was just chilling in the awesome drip, which I forgot I gave to him. Man, we were worried about you. Um. Sorry about the wait. Kept you waiting, huh? I don't think we I'm twisting your bread, Pillsbury week. style. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Bro just said, I don't think we should do this again. Yeah, kind of like the oh yeah, woo yeah guy freaking his shit to this beat. You mean like like Freddie Mercury? He's like, ooh yeah, like like that or like I don't know. Who's there? Are you? That's it. That's the voice. Wait, didn't that come from behind us? <sighs> Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Freddy Fazbear, like... Did Freddy Fazbear say that? What, what the fuck does... When does Freddy Fazbear say that? He goes... Oh, 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 yeah, woo, woo, oh, yeah. Let me see. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Sorry. That, that's like a... 
Oh no, that's like a meme. Like I know it, but like I don't know it. You know, like we're not on like a first name basis or anything. We're not like friends. I just know of him. You know, we're more like acquaintances, if anything. Um, so I forgot about that guy. <laughs> okay, okay, Nick. That's one way to put it. Yes. Wow, you're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, the heroes are here. Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Don't worry, you're safe now. Yes, I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then... Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru. Blue hair and pronouns? Who, me or, me or Fuka? I think I think it could apply to either or. No good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? And Junpei, he has like grayish hair. He has like blue hair the same way like Blue Bear has blue hair, Ted. So there is something dangerous in here then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait, you've avoided them this entire oh, time? Oh, oh, his blue hair that pokes out in the front? Oh, yeah. How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? Ed looking at his hat? Yeah, H Hector explaining the joke. Nice. She has the same power as Mitsuru, actually. She might be even stronger. Yep. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat focused to begin with. Persona? Dangarampa Saturday, Sunday, just right around the corner? Don't worry, guys, I'll be there. I'll be there. Hang on to this. That never makes jokes here? Yeah, only lies. There's no way. We just gave her a gun. Huh? Wait, is this... is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um, okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Yay, my lucky charm. Oh, check out the moon. It's huge. I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon, although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Fuck, I had a link, yeah, social style, or like the Hero of Time style? Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Nice one. I like that one. It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? It was full. Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. And the assault on the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Happy June Paith, yeah. I like that, I like that, Ted. Mitsuru! Mitsuru! What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone! Damn it! What the hell's going on? Totally lost here! I like that. It's one of them. If my guess is right. They come every full moon. What's wrong, Ted? I'm, I'm not allowed to like that? 
Oh, you want me to say I hated that one? That was a bad joke, yeah. minus two? I like that. Two of them? Mitsuru! Takeba! I said it deadpan? Yeah, I never said it was funny. I just said I like it. I like it. I can like it and, and not laugh. What's going on? Nothing's working! Tomatasan! Gotta draw the shadows away. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it! Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. It's a ghost type hey, Pokemon. What the? Uh, Uka. No, what are you doing here? Moriyama san? Hey, come back! Please get out of here! It's not safe! I... I had to tell you... I'm sorry... Hey! Look out! Wait, it's Orville and Smog! I just realized... Have to protect her. It's Orville and Smog! How did Fuka know to do this? He's like, I have to protect her and kill herself. They're in they're in the personissi. People with blue eyes. Domain That's the limitless technique! She's got the limitless technique. A persona? Me hanging out my girl's balls. Yeah, exactly. I can see. That's six eyes? No, but Ted, but Ted. Think about it. They weren't able to hit them because of the limitless technique. Ted, grow up. I, I can see these monsters. Weakness. Yeah, the ball is limitless. Can it be? He has ball. Oh. Well. Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take her place. Hunter X Hunter pregnant power. Hold up. I gotta, I gotta watch Hunter X Hunter. We'll handle these guys. Or villain smog. I'll begin searching for the monster's weaknesses. Please give me some time. Throughout heaven and earth, Puka alone is the honored one. Damn, we I have to do a three man fight. I don't get Mitsuru or uh I don't get Mitsuru or um or um Yukari. Oh, full analysis. 35 SP. Let's check on Orville, probably. Oh, I can't do that? Okay. I'll go with. Never mind. No, I heard her say that, but like, why are they gonna give me the button to do it if I can't do it? <laughs> oh, it's the Emperor and Empress. So it's Orville and Mrs. Smog. Mr. Orville and Mrs. Smog. What to do? Damn! Daniel, 21 magic? I, I guess I really was pumping levels into that guy. Oh, sheesh. Can't stop it now. Okay, they said normal attacks don't work. Hear me out. What if I just do a normal for? attack? Oh, okay, so normal attacks do work. You fucking lying ass MFers. 
Oh, that normal attack didn't work. How cheap. Wait. That's a dope-ass animation. That's a dope-ass animation. Okay. Oh, oh, so, okay, that's just how it works in general. Okay. So I have to wait at least one round to do that? Oh, weak to Pierce. Of course they don't give me Yukari. mf -er. Oh, and then lightning. Okay, that's not terrible. Do I have piercing though? Oh, I have this one. Obviously, you have pierce skills, right? Well, I, I happen to actually have pierce skills. I think Junpei might have a pierce skill. Oh, wait, no, because it would say weak. So I guess I am the only one with the pierce skill. So yeah, I guess technically... Yeah, wait, what the fuck do you do if you don't have a pierce skill? Do you just lose? Because pierce is their only weakness. And if I didn't have that one persona, I actually would not have a way to hit it, right? Like, wow, Fuka, you're so cool, and Mitsuru sucks balls, I know, right? Well, Mitsuru's persona wasn't the thing actually doing the work, right? Mitsuru just had, like, communication equipment, right? Oh, okay, really? They couldn't have made the weakness for both of them slashing, that would've been really cool. Wait, Junpei just totally can't hit either of these guys, right? Or at least for a lot. Oh, you know what? Junpei could, uh, could defense up on Akihiko. I love Junpei's grip. Yeah, but is she actually using her, um... Is she actually using her persona for navigation? The UI is also a drift? No, it's not. It just has a regular hat. Am I crazy? Changing their One. Oh god, I gotta analyze again? Okay. Oh, blunt? There we go, that's good. Oh, and I'm selecting a skill? Okay. I should just be like, you're crazy when I point out that, like, the UI that doesn't show his drift. I just like, nah, you are crazy. Um. They changed how uh, Fuka works a bit, but she seems kind of cool. I mean, I, I'm, I would imagine I'm gonna get more skills for her, right? Maybe not, but I feel like the navigator always, uh, you always unlock stuff. I feel like. Also, I don't think to be Ernesto. I don't think this UI here, 
Like, they might... I'm pretty sure they probably just used the actual model and then just changed the... the palette, you know? Um... Yeah, like the shader. Like, if we're gonna nerd emoji it, I don't, I don't think that's actually, like... You know... It's not like the bottom right where they were like we were too lazy to give them a top hat and be really goaded with it. Uh oh, is this Orville and Smog? Are they gonna get powered up now? Dude, if I let if I let both of them live here, or like one of them live um to their next turn. Oh shit, never mind, it's gonna happen. No 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 never mind. I was gonna say if I let them live, bro, it's gonna be Orville and Smog. What happened to you, Kari? Uh she was really scared. It was boys' night out, so she wasn't allowed to play with us. No, it, it, for story reasons, they didn't let us use her. I didn't. I didn't just kick her off the team. It, it was like they, they kicked her off the team automatically, so I wasn't allowed to have her. Looks like I'm getting even stronger. Don't worry, it's over. Oh, the salt dive, the P4 arena move. Luca, you. The only Junpei moves I know are wham, wham. You. Oh, thank goodness. Guys. Wait, did she say Fuka? Fuka. Oh, okay. I thought you just, like, I literally just, I heard that as, <gasps> like, like a gasp, you know? It's all right. She's just exhausted. Uka. Uka. I. Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus. Just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the Shadows. Kill her. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the Shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. Dude, we're gonna get to, to, to the next day and like, Moriyama's gonna be like, I don't know, fucking Duncan Fuka's head in the bathroom, giving her a swirly. It looks like she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry. It wasn't easy, but we managed to rescue Fuka, Fuka Yamagishi. Actually, it was, it was actually kind of easy. I'm not gonna lie. Compared to the Tartarus floors I've been to, I feel like that was kind of easy. Morning doesn't seem to just be a dream. But I can't make any sense of it right now. I feel way too exhausted. I should get some rest and get back to the dorm. Good morning. Amagishi and Moriyama are recovering nicely. They'll be released from the hospital in the next few days. What will happen now? Precisely. I'll need to invite Yamagishi to the dorm and explain what happened. Considering that power of hers, we could definitely use her help. Okay. Um, it's Bebe! <laughs> it is Bebe! I mean, he is spitting. It is Bebe. Um. Yeah, let's hang out with Bebe, right? Or I could hang out with Kenji, I suppose. Perhaps. 
perhaps I could hang out with Kenji. Oh, we could hang out with Bebe. Surely, Dono, come to home ec room, please. I need to tell you something, sad face. I will wait in the hallway. Sad face? Bebe, what's the matter? What's the matter, Bebe? Ah, uh, surely, Dono. Will you be joining me today? There is something I must tell you. Bebe, what's the matter? I am most grateful. Many, many thanks. And now, away we go. Are you all right? Oh. Mm. So you noticed. Uh, last night, my aunt, she, yeah. <laughs> she was taken by the angels. Bebe, this can't be happening. That's terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were not expecting to deal with this. My aunt was the reason I was able to come to Japan. <laughs> and now she's been taken away. Bay -bay. She helped me so much, but I could not do anything for her. I tried. Holding it all inside. But now you gotta let it all out. You gotta let it all out. I felt that crying would not help me. But when I saw the look on your face, I... Uh... Bebe lost someone very important to him. I can tell he's really opened up to me. Don't worry, Bebe. I'll be your aunt. Forgive me, but I cannot sew today. I am going home. Well, I'll be back. Not the not the sad I'll be back. <laughs> not the sad I'll be back. I mean, don't hit the nani, bro. Don't hit the nani. Um. Want to let it all out? Can I invite Baby to karaoke so he can let it all out? So dance, if you wanna go ahead, do whatever I'm showing on my bed. Hey, babe, want to let it all out? Why is there like, like why, before this had an exclamation point, but now there's like the weird like three lines, like what does that mean? Marvelous. Oh, is that because I had Twilight Fragments? Are you accepting a request? Yeah, the, the Persona Protag is to calm down at the worst times. Oh my. A Jack Frost, this adorable round figure, this mischief countenance, that makes it impossible to Marvelous. discern his thoughts. He is true perfection. Oh yes, when you pair him with jack o lantern they put on quite a hysterical performance? Why, it may just knock you off your feet. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you do so. Very well, then. I do have both of those. I have both of these. Yo. Oh, what's going on here, guys? Is that allowed? Anyway, what the flip was going on there? You know what, Nick? I, I, I had a, I knew I had to throw in your favorite Vine reference. Oh, I wonder if I can get new gear now, cause like we beat a new boss. By the way. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Yeah, I guess not. Maybe All in a couple days. Maybe when like Fuka's out of the hospital, it'll soon. update. Anyway, I gotta I gotta go to my job. We gotta we gotta work during peak time. Gee, thanks for helping out during peak time.
Wait, guys, am I crazy? Someone said that there was, um... Someone said that there was five levels, but it looks like there's six. You know, based on the rings, shouldn't there be six? Yeah, job, job, persona. I know, Hector. I mean, we make this joke every time, but this is my form of escapism. You know, when I, after a long day of gaming, I, I gotta go to work, you know what I mean? So that's why, that's why I play Persona to go to my job. But yeah, it looks like there's like six uh, of each category. Hey, so... Hey, I was thinking, do you think Kirijo Senpai saved Yamagishi because it's the right thing to do? Or was it just because she's a Persona user and we need her? You're overthinking it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Either way, it's really up to you, or up to Yamagishi-san, whether she will join us or not. I had to bring this up out of the blue. Our next topic. Are we up to the Kamakura era yet? I guess not. Oh man, we haven't even reached the Nara era. Well, let's just power through it real quick. First, the Taika reforms. They happened in the year 645. Just remember that, and we can move on. What, what were they about? Oh, nothing major, really. Later on in 710, there was the Haijo Kyo. Okay, that wraps up the Nara era. I'm feel I'm feeling sleepy. Um, yeah, let's close my. But if I close my eyes, ew, ew. I don't know, even the teacher thought that was a boring uh, lecture, so... You know I had to go to sleep, too. Hey, Bay! Thank you, a million. I want you so shortly, Dona. I am waiting for you in the home ec room. Why, why are you guys sending me the sanity emoji? Okay, and then there's Tommy. Hi, are we playing today? Dude, like, Bay Bay's, like, going through it, and then Tommy's just like, Hi, are we playing today? And then fucking, like, work-related. Nerd SMFers. Damn, everyone's gonna rank up. Except for Tommy. Tommy doesn't want to rank up. Tommy just wants to play. Tommy Tommy doesn't doesn't really care about me. He just uses me to play with me. Tommy just needs someone to play with. Anyway, let's hang out with Bebe. Bay Bay. Does Bebe Bay Bay hang out every day of the week? It feels like it. Oh, surely don't know. Are you departing for home, or will you come with me to the home ec room? I must so. At times like this, I must so. Let us continue where we left off. I think I am done for today. Could we go somewhere to eat after this? Sure. I love eating. Merci. That means a lot to me. Merci. There is Overwatch. I need to talk to you about. Hello. Where do I begin? I, I I was sitting there. I was sitting there in the sewing club. Like, man, I'm so hungry. And then Bebe was like, "Messi," and then he came up with the resurrection. I'm afraid I might have to go back home soon. What? The only reason I was able to come here was because of my aunt. Bebe. But my uncle did not agree with the decision. Get home now. Maintenant. Is he my uncle or the mafia? What if he's bald? If I do return home, back to my uncle, I might never come back to Japan again. Just stay in Japan, forehead. Do you mean it? I would love to stay. I want to dedicate my life to learning everything about Japan. Except, it does not matter what I say to him. I cannot afford to live here without my uncle's help. And I have gotten to know you well. I cannot simply say, I'll be back <laughs> and leave you like this. <laughs> uh, baby in the dorms. Dude, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, what's it called? Um, yeah, this is an awesome line. Um, 
I gotta... That's why he keeps on calling me Shirley Donos, because he's gonna ask me to dono to him so he can afford to live here. I cannot simply say, I'll be back, and leave you like this. I cannot simply say, I'll be back, and leave you like this. Bebe shared the troubles on his mind. I feel like we're growing closer. It's almost time to say, I'll be back. <laughs> He's the goat. Then I'll see you as a club sometime. I'll be back, voice redemption. Uh, or you mean like channel point redemption? Uh, I mean... If you guys want it, I guess I could. I would just have to uh, clip it. I did say that the other day, because Bebe said something goaded. He said something like... Like, I think it was the first time he said, I'll be back. I was like, wait, I should make this whole thing a voice redemption. He'd be like, how much does an apartment cost? I'll pay. And he goes, five. Hundred thousand yen. Oh, my perfume I got. Yay. Maybe I can give Bebe goodbye perfume to remember me by. No, I was just replaying it because it was goaded. Kari's on the new ports again, bro. That cannot be healthy. That just cannot be healthy. Ikari thinks she's Navi for real? Navi from from Zelda? Or Navi as in like the navigator? Or like Navi as a navigator. I think that means it's new stuff, Hector, but it'll re it, it changes after like one day. Oh, oh, she hits the hey, listen! She seems to J easy for that. Um I thought you were I thought you were referencing the new ports and I was like wait does Navi Zelda hit the uh hit the new ports like that? Um but yeah Hector I think the blue chat bubbles are just for uh are are like if you haven't talked to them in that like instance or whatever. But usually they say the same shit anyway, so And there's like a new event happened, you know. Um, Yamagishi's being released today. We all need to talk to her together. Come to the command room once you get back to the dorm. Track practice! Yo! Go on to do a six hour food gig for a hundred bucks. What does a six hour food gig mean? Like, work at a restaurant? Or, or are you doing a six-hour mukbang and someone's paying you a hundred dollars? What does that mean? Oh, wait, Steph. I mean, I mean, I don't know, Sonny. You, you were. I know. I know you're saying you need, uh, you need money. So, like, I mean, probably. <laughs> I don't know if you want to. Bussers? Well, let's just say I know how to bust it down. I know how to bust it down. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Asking, do I want to do something in the chat room? I'm just gonna be honest. I don't think you're gonna find the answer. Because that's a question you have to ask yourself. Yo, you busy? Give me a shout if you want to hang. I'll be in the classroom. What? 
<laughs> Will it be fun? Bro, is working ever fun? Um, if they also feed you, I would have. I mean, that, that's a good point. Eating whipped cream in the kitchen? What do you mean eating whipped cream? Were you just oh, you were just like ah, <laughs> like I don't know, like what's the point of? I feel like eating like oh, I I've said this before on stream. Whipped cream is like one of the most pointless things probably ever made. I'm the I'm the motherfucker that's like whipped cream is good, dude. I'm the motherfucker. You guys know the uh, yeah, bro, sucking off dudes in the kitchen for whipped cream. Yeah, exactly. The, um, you guys know the, the meme where it's like, it's like fucking ice cream and olive oil are like crazy bussin' or whatever, and then someone like quote retweeted, they're like, I do this, but with it's ice cream with sprinkles and whipped cream or whatever. I retweeted that, but I feel like whipped cream is like low key, like one of the dumbest shit ever made. Like, it feels like it's like nothing. Like, I feel nothing when I have whipped cream. Although, Ted, you said you were passing around a can of chocolate whipped cream. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of chocolate whipped cream, though. So maybe that shit's, like, bussin'. I don't think I've ever even... Like, I didn't know that was a thing. Um, so I don't know. Maybe that shit's bussin'. I don't understand how to enjoy the finer things in life. Sonny, then why do you think my ass was locked in for, like, four hours straight yesterday playing Borderlands pre-sequel? If I don't know how to enjoy the finer thing, bro. I was literally locked in gaming so goddamn hard listening to all the funny-ass voice lines. And you're gonna tell me I don't know how to enjoy the finer things? Oh, that's so funny, Ted. I've never heard of chocolate whipped cream, though. This food test says bread isn't a controlled temperature food because it doesn't allow germs to grow. Bestie, what is mold then? Why are you doing a food test? What? Am I? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, Ted. That's what I'm wondering. Do you have to take a food test for the banquet? For the food game? You have to take a test? My ass didn't study. You have to have a food handler's card, really? Um... Sonny, you gotta... Sonny, we should all, uh... Oh, you have to do that too, Hector? Really? Okay. Sonny, you should, uh... You should stream the test and we can all... We can all, you know... Uh, open book. Open book, you know? Open book, friends are allowed. Uh, you know? And we're gonna all... We're all, all it's gonna be like... It's gonna be like, um... Which food is really yummy? And... Oh, you take it. You retake as many times as you need. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I don't know. We're we're just gonna be shouting the wrong answer in your ear the whole time. You have to buy law in New York. You got to do online courses and go pay for the exam. Wait, so Hector, have you already done that? Cause you work in a bakery, or you have to do that to get like a promotion at the bakery or something? Um, yeah. lucky me, let's go somewhere then. I said it's gotta be you know where. Yo, ZJ eating ASMR. Slurping ASMR. Oh, you gotta do it if you're the only one working and serving food? Gotcha. Despite its simple appearance, the soup has a complex flavor that's enhanced by the noodles. Man, I'm so sick of this, dude. Uh, what, of school? What, of life? What, of school? Dude, I've been sick of school since... Oh, uh, bro, bro was talking about life. I mean, I get up, 
go to school, sit through lame-ass lectures, eat, watch TV, and go to bed. Okay, that settles it. I'm gonna get myself a girlfriend. Right now. Let him cook. Good luck! What a cool thing to say. Soon, I'll have a girlfriend and be just as cool as you. All right, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on my secret plan. I told you about the teacher, right? I'm gonna ask her out and get her to fall in love with me. Her name is Miss Kano. You heard of her? She teaches third year ethics. We get along pretty well. She's not mainstream beautiful, but she's really pretty. She's got these cute little eyes, a sexy body. Uh, don't tell anyone about this, okay? You're the only one who knows. Bro, and apparently everyone in this fucking shop. This is literally just three houses? I know, I like to imagine. Dude, I'm getting so psyched! Let's cook up a plan of I, I like to imagine bros just talking about Violet. If a man called my eyes little, I'd spit in his. <laughs> So, so, you're Fukuyamagishi. So, you're Fukuyamagishi. That's what I was gonna say. No, um. So, Sunny, are you. So, what if someone said your eyes were big? Would you be like, yeah, damn straight they are? Or or, what's the, or would you also spit in their eyes? Yeah, yeah, see, that's what I'm saying, Ted. What if a man went, fuck, you got big ass eyes, girl? Owl looking ass. Would that be okay? We have, would that be chill? Or what's the deal with that? What if someone said you have Madoka Magica eyes? Would you be really upset by that? Or. I'd love a big eye comment. That's all right, Sonny. I think you got. I, I think you're. I, I, I think Ted's spitting. I, I honestly, I, I heartfelt. I feel like what Ted said. Um, about you. Kaboom. <laughs> um. What if a man was like, "Wow, you have eyes, dude." That's what they did to Jaden in high school. They said Jaden has most eyes. Yeah, Jaden's high school superlative. That's what I'm saying. They said Jaden has most eyes. Um, in the yearbook. Um, is Jaden is Jaden a spider? Yeah, that's why that's why he's never around because I'm really scared of him. So I. I, I make sure Jaden doesn't pull up because uh, I'm really scared of him because he's a spider. No, it, it, it's just a joke, Tommy. Um, in in Jaden got best eyes in high school as like his as like the the yearbook superlative stuff. But you know how like most of the the superlatives are like oh like um I don't know like most friendly most um <laughs> it's called a joke, Tommy. Calm down, liberal. No, no, it, it, they're, they're, you know it's like. Um, most likely to be blank, most whatever, most of this, most of that. And so, so we're like going through, we're like, oh, what did everyone get? And I think Ted or someone said like, oh, Jaden got most eyes or some shit. And then like, ever since that, it's been like a joke that Jaden got most eyes instead of best eyes or, or something like that. Um, or whatever the fuck it was. So now, so Jaden, so Jaden's best eye or, or most eyes in our book. Um. Oh, nicest eyes. That's what it was. Yeah, it wouldn't let you print the thing with most eyes instead of nicest eyes. Yeah, that's rough. Could have done it anyway, bro. Me, me and uh, me and Joey. Not not Joey. Uh, not Joey with the. Not Joey. Not not Tommy and Jerry. Not Tommy and Jerry Joey, but the other Joey, um, he, uh, me and him got in the yearbook as cousins, which in a weird way is kind of true now because both of our brothers married into the same family. So in a weird kind of way, we kind of are cousins and I don't, that might be our fault for getting in the yearbook as that. Um, so that's something to be sure. 
Um, that is something to be sure. Maybe we caused that. I don't know. But that is something that happened. To be sure, Lee. Exactly. To be sure, Lee. Um, but yeah, th that is always like top one, like, strangest coincidences of all time. In my mind. Because we were like, oh, it'd be funny if we could get in the yearbooks as cousins. And then both of our brothers married into the same family. So, like, that was kind of strange. Like, I wonder if we did that. Like, they were like, oh, you, you put that in the yearbook? Like, now you guys have to be, like, sort of related. No, no, because... Well, oh, wait. My brother already had kids at that point. My brother already had kids at that point. Um, But Joey's brother was not, um, was not, I, I don't even think in a relationship with, uh, with the other person at that point. Um, at that point. So it was like, I, I think we like willed it into existence. Cousin curse. Yeah. We, 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 we forced their lives to be like that. Um, but yeah, dude, cause they have like a siblings page or whatever. They had, like, a siblings page on the yearbook, and we were just like, oh, it'd be funny if we could get in as cousins, even though we look nothing alike. Because, like, no, no, Hector. Hector, because I think it was uh, Miss Jean or whatever who was in charge of the that part or whatever. But, like, Miss Jean, we're cousins. Did you know that, Smile? And she was like, oh, that's cool. Like, like she probably didn't want to get canceled. She was like, okay, like, the whitest person I've seen. Um and a person of color, our cousins, well, I'm not going to be the one to get canceled, so I won't question it. You know? Um. So, I think they just let that shit rip. And, like, there were so many people in the in the yearbook on the siblings page that were not siblings. So, me and Joey did it as well. Um. You know? Everyone, everyone was doing it. Like, there are so many people on there that are not actually related. I mean, that is true. That is true, but I doubt Miss Jean knew that. The only people who knew that were people who knew my... Who, who like... I don't know. Were the teachers that were real ones. Or, or, uh... Or te other teachers who lived on the reservation, because most of them probably knew my grandma. <laughs> you know? Like, I know Miss Richard um, knew my grandma. <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Although, I wouldn't say Miss Richard was a real one. Miss Richard was kind of a pain in the ass, but. But all English teachers are, so. So, there's that. Uh, okay. I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job uncovering the truth. Uh, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. That's great news! From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the well, Hector, you had a similarities to an old ghost story, Rumors naturally spread quickly. Um, Hector, you had to, like, go... I think, like, you had to go do that if you wanted to. Like, it wasn't like, oh, this is required. I don't think they actively were like, okay, you guys are siblings, and you're, like, in the school, like, get in the siblings page. I think it was more like, okay, if you and your sibling want a picture, just... Or, like, you and your family want a picture in the yearbook, like, go. And that's why me and Joey did it, is because they were just like, you can just do this. So we just did it. Um, they didn't really like I don't think they were seeking people out to do it I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost it's all my fault although I could be wrong but I think you and your sister do have a picture there I could be wrong Hector but I think you and your sister do have a picture in there what? where'd you get that from? 
You were the victim in all this. I got my yearbook like right here. Like I could bust it open, but it's gonna dox everyone's like full name. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Really, Ted? You don't think you have one? I'm surprised. You know, mine's like, like I literally see it. It's right there. Like, you probably, you probably can't see it on the camera because it's tiny, but it's like right up there. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? If you do, your mom would have it. Uh, okay. We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Did you can really, help Tommy? To help us? That's really funny. Um, Ted, the, um, that would make sense, because that, that's, I think that's the only reason I have mine, is because I think my mom was like, it's your senior year, you have to get it, uh, so, like, my mom, basically my mom got it, and then I was like, here you go. Oh, Tommy, that goes hard, Tommy, that goes hard. Biggest senioritis? <laughs> that, that is really cool, Tommy, that is really cool. So, so yeah, what's the picture? Is it just, is there just no picture, or do they just take a picture of like a wall? Like, do they just take a picture of the wall where like you would get the picture taken or whatever, and it's just blank? He drew stick figures. <laughs> That's awesome. Gotcha. Yeah, Tommy. That sounds kind of awesome. Although all those all the all the superlatives are complete lies because Ted got friendliest and if I know anything about that 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 shit's not true. That shit's definitely not true. So I don't know how Ted got friendliest or whatever. Are you asking me to join you? It says friendliest, not nicest. That shit got the biggest drunk driver. <laughs> if th that's like if high school superlatives were goaded, it'd be like most likely to drink and drive, and Ted would have won. I don't know, Hector. I think you, like I said, I think you have a page, but I don't know. We can go through it later off stream because I don't want to. Like, I would show it on stream, but then I dox everyone's like full names, you know. I think you guys do have a picture, but I could be misremembering. I could be Mr. Remembering. Um. You already guys have your full names as display names? Okay, your full name's Heckcone Carne. Well, I, I guess in other places, Hector, you kind of have your full name as your display name. And Ted's, yeah, Ted's got his full name, Teddy Cool Guy, right there in the chat, so. That's right. Yuricho Senpai. Even, even Mitsuru agreed with that. Only if you want to. <sighs> I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. You know we're not trying to pressure you, so if you need some time to think about it. Hey, that's a goaded response. Hey, that's a goaded response. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, let me see, Tommy. I'm, I'm curious. That is really cool. That is really cool. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm uh I don't know, I hope I'm not getting sick. Um although my mom does have COVID, so So guys, if shortly one goes under, you know what happened. But 
But yeah, Tommy, that, that's awesome. I think it would have went hard, like... I don't know if they did this for you, but I think, like, all of our photos were, like, in the same, um... I think all of our photos were in, like, the same, um... You know, they're like, okay, like, up against this wall, whatever. I, like, it would have been awesome if, if they just took a picture of, like, the wall, you know? <laughs> you know, like... They were just like, okay, like... Let's just, let, let's just put a picture with no one in it, you know? It would be my honor. Dude, well, you know what's a goaded part of our yearbook? Is they were like, I, I think it was like, I forgot what it was, but it was like, we asked the seniors some questions or whatever, and this is how they responded. And it was like, what's your favorite movie? And the favorite movie was like, Barnyard? Um, oh, you're right about that, Ted. You're right about that. Um, the favorite movie was Barnyard. Favorite TV show was Back at the Barnyard. The hangout spot was The Barnyard. The, yeah, yeah, the number one hangout spot was The Barnyard. The, I think it was, like, the coolest, like, car or something was, was like, Hog Rida because they ride the hogs in the, in the barnyard. Um, and, uh, like, I, I think, I think it's, like, favorite, um, I think it was, like, favorite drink and it was, like, milk or some shit. <laughs> Yeah, class song was Won't Back Down at Sung in Barnyard. Um, how many people were in your grade? Like, 100. I think it was, like, roughly 100. Um, yeah, I don't know why people are angry about that. Like, all the other ones were lame. Like, the second highest TV show was, like, Walking Dead. So, like... Like, the second highest TV show was, like, Walking Dead. Like, my brother in Christ, that shit's ass. We had about 120 people, so it was easy to rig surveys. That's true, because, like, like I would say, like, half the people didn't vote, and then there was, like, 20 people memeing, and then there was, like, people voting sincerely. But, like, yeah, that's just the way we animals roll, exactly. Um, but then, um... But, like, the thing is, is that unless it was, like, something like... Yeah, exactly, the people voting didn't coordinate. So, like, that's what I'm saying, like best tv show out of like every tv show like second place is like the walking dead but that makes sense because at that point um at that point like the we uh like walking dead was popular but like all the other categories like they had no competition because like everyone's voting for separate shit you know his switch wait tommy what the fuck are you 12 years old yeah, that's what I'm saying, Nick, right? Like, Tommy's like 12, what the fuck? You were a junior in 2017? You are a baby. Guys... We were in high school when the Switch came out. Can someone... Can someone confirm? Because we were playing, like, Smash 3DS in, in, in high school. Am I crazy? Like, high school was Smash 3DS. Oh... Oh, that's true. I didn't have a Switch on launch, I don't think. Um, because, Ted, I remember... I You didn't get a Switch on launch, did you? Or did you, and that's why you got rid of your Wii U? Yeah, Ted, I think I got my Switch around the same time as you, which was like a year later. Will I be your Valentine, Empire Emperoni? Um, sorry, Emperoni. Um, I'm a gamer, and gamers don't have Valentines. They have social links. Yeah, that's what it was, Ted. That's what it was. Welcome to the stream, Emperoni. Yo, Emperoni, don't forget to hit that uh, sub button and then hit free Prime sub. Um, then I'll be your Valentine, Emperoni. We can we can meet out back. No, no, no. Don't don't move on to Nick. Don't move on to Nick like that, Emperoni. If you want if you want me to be your Valentine, all you gotta do is hit that sub button and use your free Prime sub. <laughs> Get in line, buddy. A lot of lines around here. No soliciting? What, to me or to Emperoni trying to get people as a valentine? 
Am I banned? Emperoni? Is that soliciting? That's not soliciting. Yo, I see Emperoni's got the sub. I guess the... did You need to hit the share button, I think, to get the notification to pop up. But thank you for the sub, Emperoni. Um, I'll be your valentine. Four. One minute! <laughs> sorry, sorry, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. You know what? You know, you know what I gotta say to Emperoni? About being your valentine? It would be my honor. It would be my honor. Um. It never popped up? I think you have to, like, it, it'll say, like, share. Like, do you want to share your sub? If you're on PC, anyway. If you're on mobile, you might be freaked. But if you're on PC, it should say, like, want to share your sub, question mark. And then you hit yes, and you hit enter, or whatever. <laughs> hey, do you have to... Do you have, I don't know. The, the Price Master jokes don't hit. But whatever. But whatever. I'll let you I'll let you do whatever you want, Ted. This kid was playing Switch in class and it was some bullshit class so the teacher didn't really care, but me and my friends would put Fortnite clips on the smart board, and you get so visibly angry and started screaming how he hated Fortnite. That is awesome. That's like Chef Man. Just came? This is surely one stream. We're gooning and edging out here. That's true. That's true. Emperoni, don't say you just came in here. We 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 edge here. We're edgers. Yo, Emperoni, as a proud sub, yeah, as a proud sub, Emperoni, hit a Shorely One Gaming in the chat if you're gaming. You'll suck it back up? Yeah, make sure you, yeah, definitely. Mm hmm, mm hmm. It, it, it's, it's great to see a chat room filled with gamers, you know? That's the thing that's great about Twitch.tv, you know? I'm just allowed to have a chat room full of gamers. I'm glad we're all gaming together, you know? That's what I do when I see Borderlands in the VC. <laughs> Listen, Nick, you gotta grow up a little. Nick, you're gonna you're gonna notice that we go directly from Borderlands 2 when that playthrough's over over to Dead Island, and Nick's gonna be Nick's gonna be like permanent one of T3 angry. Yeah, Nick and VC, like, stop having fun. Yeah, like the, the awesome meme. Anyway, Amperoni, it would be my honor to be your valentine. What? Well, well Nick, we're sure? always on Borderlands. Like, watch out, we got a badass over here every time the badasses show up, so... If you do join, you'll have to move That's an the epic door. meme. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Bro, everyone's trauma dumping in this game. Thank you. No one wants to live at I home really anymore, Gen Z. This. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. The no fun allowed Star Wars trooper? Is there a Star Wars trooper that did that? Okay. Thank you. Yo, welcome to the stream, Ben. How are you doing? Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay. Really. Everyone thinking I was finally going to advance this dialogue, but now Ben entered the chat. Shadows. We had another encounter this month. Um, you're doing all right. How about me? Well, well, I just conned a, a, a poor, a poor soul into thinking I'd be his Valentine if he subbed to me. And then he subbed to me and I told him I'd be his Valentine for one second. I think I said one minute, but whatever. Time's up probably already. So, but you know, I'm doing great, you know? Con conning poor Twitch viewers into into thinking I'd be their Valentine for money. Yeah, best of one minute of my life. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, but you know, that's what it's all about, baby. Part of the grind set. Ben, I'm gonna I'm gonna start being like that one guy who posts his stream and says, "Please donate to me." Like I'm I'm just, that's just gonna be me, <laughs> Ben. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata Kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, the next full moon is showtime, huh? Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. In the ring. Wrestling reference.
Yo, everyone, everyone, speaking of getting in the ring and wrestling, can everyone post a Shorely and Brad to scare Emperoni away right now? Everyone hit a Shorely and Brad if you want to really scare Emperoni. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emperoni. I know that you're going to be really scared. I know you're really scared right now. Like, I know, I know you're quaking in your boots right now seeing that emote. Lamounade, yeah. This shit is gonna be JJK pack. Now we know how it works, it'll be stronger. <laughs> I fucking hate the rock, bro. Bro, it it, it was a storyline, bro. Like come on, grow up, grow, grow, grow the frick up, guys. It was a storyline. <laughs> this abyss, yeah, so fucking true. <laughs> In, unless we're talking about this abyss from Hades. I like the game, Hades. He was an asshole before the storyline? What do you mean? He hits the brow. He's the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. What's there not to like, bro? He hits the people's elbow. Like, what is there not to like about him? Yeah, but his family is nuts. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Yo, Emperoni, we got a riddle for you. Can you solve this riddle? Can someone hit him with the riddle? Can someone get the entire riddle, copy and paste it in the chat, and see if Emperoni can solve the riddle? Emperoni, solve my riddles three, and I'll say I hate the rock. Um. All right, what are we doing tonight? What are we doing? Honestly, I might just I'm I'm falling I'm falling for all the the spam emails. They're like, oh, we have like food today. <laughs> like, yay, I love food. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go eat there now. This is what like this is what the uh, what's it called like companies that hit you with the spam emails and shit, dude. This is what they think of like is gonna happen when they're when like DoorDash hits you with the, with the push notification that's like, hey, are you hungry? Like they think my they think my ass is gonna fall for that. Okay. Yeah, no, no, there's the riddle. There's the riddle, Emperoni. Ted just posted it. There's the riddle. 30% of the food safety test questions are just rephrases of don't touch the food. <laughs> Hector, I don't think I know the meme you and Nick are talking about, like the no fun lab that guy. I don't, I don't think I know which one you're talking about. But if it's a Warhammer thing, that would make sense why I don't know it. Because I'm not a nerd. Oh wait, we check out the arcade. Because like this is just for a big brain, and I don't really want a big brain. I want to be a gamer, so let's hit, let's keep the arcade first. <laughs> poo poo in the night, pee pee in the afternoon. Is the answer penis? Emperoni, your family's nuts. Good answer, yeah, there you go. Guys, Emperoni said penis in the chat, ban him. Ban him, he just said a bad word in the chat, ban him. No! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, he's chill, guys, don't ban him. No, 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 calm down, calm down. Um... No, good, good answer, Emperoni. Good answer. Um, but how have you been, Emper Emperoni? It's been a minute. I learned the ins and outs of romance and courtship. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Totally one like Spongebob going, Okay, everyone, now get out! That was Squidward who said that. Morning. Oh, you passed the test? Nice, Sunny. Did one hell of some facial hair? I I, I I, know, I have to shave. I'm just a lazy bones. What, what pisses me- Oh, wait, here's the thing, guys. Is I don't like having facial hair, which you might, you might be like, that's crazy, because I always see with facial hair. It's just that I shave it, and then it's back a week later, and I'm pissed off again. Um. Sponge to the Flying Dutchman? Was it? 
Oh, yes. Yes, he's like, okay, now get Um, Ted, that's what I did in college, Ted. That's what I did in college. Um, but I'm a lazy bones. I'm a lazy bones. I don't want to. I don't want to have to shave. Bro. No, Ted, I, like, I understand. I, that's what I did all of college. Um, well, maybe not all of college, but that's what I did, like, most of college. I just don't want to do that. I just don't want to do it anymore. Uh, and I, you know, I will say, I will say the one thing I like to do is I, I like to stroke my shit. Anyone else like to stroke their shit like this, or is it just me? I like, I like to, I like to get real indubitable about it. You know, if I do this and I'm, and I'm clean, yeah, when pondering, yes, exactly, like, like, I can't just do this. Well, I, I, I actually end up doing this even when I don't have facial hair. But, like, now I feel like I'm doing it with purpose, you know? I'm like, hmm, indubitably. Yeah, real intellectual sort. Exactly, exactly. Like, like... Do you have a habit to stroke the stash as opposed to liking it? So, so you're, you're like this. You're, like, curling your shit. You're curling your... You're getting, like, the handlebar mustache by curling your shit. You're like, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, Hector, okay, buddy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it makes me feel very indubitable when I get to stroke my shit. Um, <laughs> and finally, the type of guy to twirl his mustache talking to a girl he tied to the railroad tracks. Damn, and Pirate's like, well, I already had to be like this, partner. Twirling his mustache and shit. Um, yeah. Um. But yeah, the, uh. <laughs> you might find him on a can of Pringles, just saying. But yeah, you know, I like to, I like to stroke my shit in dubitable style, but. I don't know. I, uh. I also, like, would rather... But, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm torn on it, because, like, I, I, I do want it all off. I want to let it all off, but I don't want to go... Like, I don't know. It, it's, just, it's just annoying, sort. Bald stream? I mean, honestly, guys, I wouldn't be surprised if I come back Monday bald. Um, Because this shit, this shit needs to be given a rest, you know? Both my hair and my, my facial hair both need to be given a rest, bro. It's been a while. It's been a while, and I, I gotta let loose. I gotta let it all off. Including my clothes. See you guys Monday, you know what I'm saying? Um, the type of guy to scream when the train moves towards the camera? <laughs> Need to see the true shape of my head? What do you mean? I've been bald plenty of times. You guys have seen the true shape of my head plenty of times. Well, not bald, but like, you know, what everyone else calls bald, because... Um, I mean, Hector, that's what I would do, Hector. That's exactly what I would do. Um, You've never seen it? What do you mean you've never seen it? I had to have been bald at one point in college. Was I, did, I, did I just have hair the entire time in college? There's no way. Actually, Empire, you were only there for the later half, so maybe I was. But no! No, because when I lost most iconic haircut, when I lost most iconic haircut, I shaved. No, no, but I lost most iconic haircut award, and I, I shaved my head. Um, and that must have been, like, junior or senior year. That's real lore, Tommy. That's not fake lore. That's real lore. That's real lore. Wait, what the fuck, Tommy? Or, or not Tommy, Nick? Is that real? What the fuck? Oh, always had facial hair? Yeah, that, that might be that might be fair. To be honest. That that probably is true. Because like Well like Emperoni, like to be completely honest, I think I shaved every day, or at most every other day in college. But you would probably see that like Like you would still probably notice like Like you would probably notice that I had facial hair. Even uh even like if I did shave, like like it grows fast. So like I would shave in the morning, then you see me at esports, and I'd have a stubble going on, and you're like, wait, and like I would literally like have been like I would have shaved that morning, you know. 
Um, can we recreate the JJK haircut meme? Perhaps. Um, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. He actually is dead over an overdose or something. That's crazy. I mean, I never really watched him much, but of course, I of course I've seen like the he he was he was the one who did the what was it the uh, he's like hey baby hope you have a good night or whatever and then like he, he dies or whatever okay well maybe that's a little insensitive uh but you know what I'm talking about uh I did not yeah I did not mean it like like he dies as in like he dies but like you know what I mean you guys know what I'm talking about um <laughs> um. Oh, yes, Tommy. I did hear about that. I remember when that happened. People are talking about that. Yeah, you weren't on Skype tonight, but that's all right. Yeah, that, that, that I, I know that meme um, specifically, but I didn't really watch like too much. Um, I think I've seen like a couple clips here and there, like on Twitter or whatever, but. Um. He had meme energy like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's 23. I, I I honestly thought he was older, but Um. Oh, was that a thing, Ted? Oh god. Oh god. I feel like I've already learned way too much than I than I should have. Um. What was I gonna say? Um. Oh, okay. Um. Anyway, the uh. What was I gonna say? Emperoni. The uh. I was gonna say in our dorms. In our dorms. Uh. Because you mentioned that what's it called? How you always saw me with facial hair or whatever. In the dorms, like I would just shave every morning or whatever. James was on some next level shit. James would literally take tweezers and pluck like every hair out individually, like or not like not like to, like from like a, a beard or anything. But but like I would just like take a razor and go over it every morning, you know. Um, James was on James was on some next level shit. James would be like James would be like, okay, I, I'm plucking like all the all the little hairs coming out. Um, and honestly, he was onto something. He was onto something, so. I imagine every five flux, James just starts hard laughing. I just remember, like, one time, like, one time that, like, you had the bathroom door open and he's, like, staring in the mirror with the, with the things. I'm like, James, you just, like, pluck all your facial hair? And he's like, um. I was, he, um. Well, Hector, apparently he's dead. Um, which is why he was brought up. Like, I think I got back from class someday, one day, and, and I just see James in the bathroom, like, plucking his, plucking his, like, mustache hairs or whatever. And I'm like, James, are you, do you just, like, pluck all your facial hair? And he's like, no, no, I shave, but, like, some of these hairs are pissing me off. And I, and I was like, that's, like, honestly really relatable. That's honestly really relatable. Um... <laughs> so I, I was like, I was like, yeah, that that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, and and I, I never questioned it again. Um, because because I I related, I related to that. Sounds like James. Listen, Emperoni, this is something you have to try. This is a James original. I, I, he told Hector this like a long time ago, I think. Um, this is a James original. You have to try this if he hasn't told you to do it already. You have to get in a sh you're, like you take hot showers, right, Empirony? I mean, like I feel like most people do, right? Unless you're like crazy in the head or something. Um, but so you take a hot shower, yeah, hot showers. Okay, okay. So take a hot shower, and and when you're in the shower, pull the curtains back, like peek your head out, and, and take a breath, like like breathe in through your mouth out outside of the shower. That shit, that shit will hit dip. That shit will change you. I think I think Nick said he started doing it. Like, I think Nick said he started doing that shit. Um, like, all the time. I 
Have I tried it? Yeah, Hector, I tried it. I, I finally got to it eventually. I know I was forgetting for a while, but I did try it. It definitely hits dip, but also, like, I don't know. I kind of just like to get the shower, like... You know, as a Persona fan and a Danganronpa fan, like, showers are my- and a Smash player, at least an ex-Smash player, like, I- showers are my natural prey, you know? And a Dark Souls player, you know? Like, I memorize the attack pattern on my shower to make sure I can dodge all the- all the- all the water streams coming out, you know? So, it's already my natural enemy, so I just try to get out of there as soon as possible, you know what I'm saying? Um... You got me curious now? Yeah, Emperoni, try it. Try- try and get back to us. Try and get back to us. <laughs> you, Makoto Yuki's never made it to class uh, on time once. You mean Mr. Shorely Pums? Bro, that's Pums Coon right there. Or Shorely Don't Know if you're, uh, if you're Bay Bay Pilled. Oh, really? The Skype video? You fucked up his back? But yeah, Hector, we, we, people were talking about it because because uh, apparently he's dead. Apparently he he's dead from an overdose or some shit, which is cr kind of crazy. Th this is like the one time Tommy was like, Joey's dead. And we were like, wait, is Joey actually dead? But like Nick was just like, guys, two mads dead. And I was like, wait, are we memeing or like, what's the deal? Hey, Pumskoon, what do you think of Yamagishi-san? Um, she's very helpful. That's all you have to say? I mean, yeah, her persona ability is pretty amazing, but doesn't it just seem like she was really she wasn't really given a choice in joining the team? I hope she'll be okay. Bro was evil. Hey, did you hear? Yeah, like I said, I was I, I didn't really watch this shit or keep up with him at all, so I have no idea any of the stuff. Apparently, Mr. Okoda's in hot water. Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but I think it's serious. Sexual harassment, maybe? <laughs> I can totally see that. Oh, I guess that's really funny. I, I guess the gossip lovers find sexual harassment really funny. What do I do in the shower? Um, well, one, you don't wash your legs. Two, you goon. And three, the thing we were actually talking about was, uh was uh, the James thing. You know how you get you take a hot shower and then you peek your head out and you, you take a breath? We were telling I was telling Emperoni to try it. I was telling Emperoni to get a get a grip and try it. And three Yes! I know, I know, I know, I know you're gonna like that one. Real shower strat? Let's hear it. Tommy's gonna be like I pour the body wash on my head and let it wash down my entire body. <laughs> or some shit. It's about to be the dumbest shit I've ever heard. But let's hear it. You make it hot enough that it'll keep you warm, but not too hot that the cold air around you starts to make you cold. No, that's not a strat. That's not a strat. I don't I don't like that strat. I like taking like like in burning hot showers. Um and then I get really cold when I get out. That's my strat. I mean, I always have the fan on when I'm taking a shower, but the, uh, I don't have a window in my bathroom, but yeah, that that is peak if you do have a window in your bathroom. My shower's starting in the same way, plucking the annoying hairs out of my ass? Really? I shower like I do for a minute 30. He said, I'm kind of with you on that one. Like I said, as a, as a Persona, Danganronpa, Dark Souls, Fire Emblem, Smash player, all those things. Um, you know, I'm trying to be done with that shit as soon as I can, you know what I mean? I memorize the attack pattern of the shower, and then I dodge all the hits, and then I get out. Um, that's not a goon, that's like a trailer. <laughs> a real gooner takes pay time off for that shit. See, that's what I'm saying. Yo, speaking of which, Ted, are you at work today or did you actually call out? 
Dude, Emperoni. I don't know if you're being serious, because, I mean, this beat is kind of lackluster, in my opinion. But this has plenty of good songs in it. Hey, look! It's the ghost That's why... Emperoni, you must have... Uh, maybe you've never seen the Persona 4 streams, but those Persona 4 streams were peak. So, uh, where we never actually make any progress in the game. So, now that we're, like, on Persona 3 Reload, it's the, it's the same thing, where, like, 30 minutes of my 5-hour stream is... 30 minutes of my... Or, sorry, yeah, 30 minutes of my 5-hour stream is gameplay, and the rest is not. I bought Persona 4 that never played it, loved the Persona games. The Emperoni, you're a true fan already. Persona fans looking forward to playing their first Persona game. You're real as fuck for that. Quiet, she can hear you. Oh, Buka, you're here. Moriyama-san? I heard you started living in the dorms. Yes. You're looking glum today, as usual. Well, if you got something Jack and off, yo, you're gonna fit in around here, Emperoni. You could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama-san. Come on, you don't gotta be so stiff. Just call me Natsuki. <gasps> Thank you. But yeah, Persona 4 is really good. I assume you have Golden, right, Emperoni? Not like Persona 4 base. But if you have Golden, yeah, that game was really good. The PC one? Okay. Yeah, I, I, played, on, I played Golden on PC. Um, like, what, probably a year ago now, right? Um, but that was that game, or maybe two years ago now, right? That was two years ago now, right? Or maybe it was just a year ago. That game was really good. Is the audio getting weird for anyone? You might be going insane. I mean, if your internet's flubbing it, the if your internet's like going out a little bit, sometimes stream audio can get weird. So maybe that's what's happening. You might need a refresh. Maybe if your internet dropped for like a split second. I must so. I will come get you for club activities. Okay, buddy. Okay, baby. You, you can come get me for club activities. Oh wait, he's not gonna rank up. Never mind. Don't get me for club activities, bro. My butthole's like. UK rave music in the 90s. Really? Uh, the Beatles? The Beatles? It's like the Beatles? Jungle. Uh. Uh. <laughs> so it's like the Beatles? <laughs> or, <laughs> or what? Wait, Ted, ain't that the shit that's fun in games? I never felt like so miserable. Um. Bam, bam, bam. Um, no one, no one wants to rank up with me except for Odagiri and the old people. I'll hang out with Odagiri. He texted me, right? I can just answer that. It never be that do 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 do. Bro, instantly scary beat. How many times do I have to explain it? Like I'm talking to a moron. I thought you loved old people. Yeah, but I was hanging out with them, so I, I got to spread the love, you know. Um. Plus, I'm a little worried about. I'm a little worried about you guys mentioning that I need to do one more social link to find like a new social link. So I want to spread out my, at least try to spread out my social links a little more evenly, so I don't miss out on one. Um. How many times do I have to explain it? Oh wait, he he said this already. Why would you even accuse me? The cigarette butt was in the boys' bathroom, right? You dumped the evidence. Boom, this is what I'm talking about. It was Yukari. Yukari was smoking Newports and then and then dumped that shit in the boys' bathroom. Then can you prove it wasn't a girl who brought it and left it there? <sighs> With that logic, this is never gonna end. He is you, Chef Man, who owed a Giri? That's what I've been saying. I'm done with this. You're on your own. Punch 
to Neanderthals. Guys, I, I can't believe Chef Man got away with this. Chef Man's high school senior quote was, if idiots could fly, this place would be an airport. And that was his senior quote in the yearbook. Um, and I think that shit was goaded. I think he cooked. Um, I'm just surprised. I mean, I know Ted was on the yearbook team, right? And, and no one else probably was really looking around that much. But, like, I find it really funny that you were able to get away with that. Um, they're the worst. Try not to hold it against them. They think like children. They just can't help it. So true, Hector. So true. Yeah, exactly, Ted. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's still, it's funny. Chef Man wanted a meaner quote at first. Is that true? Was there was there a meaner quote at Sooner first? Sooner or later, they'll see the light. Then I'll earn their trust, and they'll learn to respect me. Probably. I don't mean to isolate myself. I'm just remaining detached. Someone always gets hurt in any relationship sooner or later. I suppose I've gone on long enough. I, I apologize. Dude, <laughs> I literally came in here with like, yeah, you're so right, bestie. And then he was like, he's like, ah, I love you so much. No point in having a meeting today if no one else is here. Let's go. This guy's got a hard gamer mentality. Yeah, uh, don't worry, don't worry. I had to just, I, I just agree with them, you know, because people in Persona want to hear what they want to hear. You don't, you don't want to, like, even when someone's depressed, like, like the options will be like, someone's like, oh, I'm really sad recently. And like the options will be like, you should kill yourself or like, oh, you can talk to me whenever you like. If you say you should kill yourself, they'll be like, you're so, you're so right. I, that's what I want to do. And then, and then you'll get like rank up raise with them. It's like insane. Um... Um, Baze? Is that Baze? Ah, uh, Emperoni. Is that what you think The Rock should do? Um, but what's it called? The, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Wait, no! The, uh, what's it called? No, it's just like, I don't know. Like, like Persona characters are, are really funny at times with what you have to say to them. Yeah, I know, right, King of the Bandits? Also, welcome in. How are you doing? Yeah, why bother having a relationship? I'll just get hurt. Yeah, dude, so true. And then they're like, yay! It's like, ding, 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 ding. You get all the little extra points. You're in New Game Plus? Nice. Oh, I gotcha, Hector. Your fook is moving into one of the rooms on the third floor, but the girls put their foot down when I offered to help. They said guys aren't allowed. Anyway, looks like she'll be coming here pretty early tomorrow. Exciting stuff, huh? Games! Games! <laughs> Dude, they should have this shit, but it just says toys. Toys! Who wants to play with toys? Who wants to clean up? Yo, uh, Emperoni, are you are you the type of guy to be caught playing with toys? Maybe mommy will clean up the toys, so true. How's the the disease, Dan? Could be pretty good. Dude, actually what is up with these guys? What is that like this is actually the um, this is actually the what's it called? Like the fucking TikTok. Like, is that allowed, bro? Like, actually, like, I'm starting to wonder if that shit's allowed. I guess it is. They're like here every day. Oh, the Vine. Sorry, guys. I'm Zoomer pilled. I'm, I'm actually Gen Z pilled right now. I'm actually Gen Z pilled. I just said TikTok because I'm like, oh, short video. Uh, TikTok, you know. A Vine compilation on stream? I guess we would, right? I probably wouldn't get DMC. Oh, well, actually, some vines do have songs in them. No, that's more TikTok. That's more TikTok build, though, actually, though. 
I probably could. I probably could watch a Vine compilation on stream. I don't know, there might be some sussy ones, though. That's what I'm worried about. I'd be like, only a spoonful. Was that originally a vine? I thought, well, I guess it was, right? I guess it was. I feel like most of those now, like, are just, like, they're posted everywhere. Yo, Free Shavaka, dude, that is a classic. I, I like Free Shavaka, dude, to be honest. I, I do like that one. I thought I heard something different. What? Uh, Empire and yeah, I was just asking you if, if you're the type of guy to play with toys. I don't know, like, would you, like, like listen. If cleanup is not the vibe, are you the type to play with toys or what? If you don't have to do cleanup afterwards, would you would you be caught playing with toys? Nah, I don't think so. Damn, bro, bro doesn't bro's not bro's not the type to be caught playing with toys, guys. The bro's never been so whimsical in his life. My pop figures stay boxed. Damn. You're and Pioneer, I thought you'd be out here with like the WWE figures, uh, you know, like playing the wrestling ring and shit, you know what I'm saying? I need some la Lamounade, yeah. <laughs> Refill your popcorn, you're gonna love all these chickens. Um, I think I gave those away? Bro, and Pioneer, you- Listen, and Pioneer, I've been telling people to grow up for a long time. Um, I've been telling people to grow up for a long time, Empire. I think you've grown up too much. I think you've grown up too much. You know, it's 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 never too late to indulge in some toys and have and have a lot of fun. Well, as long as you need, all done here. Come back soon. <laughs> Sorry, we're just uh, you know, probably not wrong. No, it's all right, Empire. We uh. You know, recent, recently, you know, we like we like playing up. We, we we like playing with toys. We like uh, I don't know what you expected from the Trolley One stream, but we like playing with toys. You know, um, when it when it's the vibe, you know, we like to hide under the covers and play on our DS and hope our mommy doesn't notice. You know, um, you know what I'm talking about. Only when it's the vibe, though. I found a Lego that I never built yesterday. And I was like, yay, toys. <laughs> Um, I thought you liked playing with boys. Yeah, well, Ryan, that's different. It's because we're too scared to play with boys, but we like talking to boys. You thought that's what Cam said at first? Yeah, why are you crying, Empirony, huh? Empirony, you should, you should be, you should be like, surely one happy playing with boys. Yeah, I've been playing with boys recently. That's what you should be. You, you should be like, oh, yeah, I've been playing with boys, surely one happy. Yeah, is that so scary, Empirony? What's up with that, huh? That's got you in tears now? Yeah, today's the day to be brave. So true. That, that, I'm being brave, which is why I'm playing House of the Deceased at the arcade, you know? Jump scares, the jump scares did not even bother me. Nick, am I crazy? What do you mean by that? Prevailed I feel again. like that's all Lego sets. Am I crazy? Like that's what Lego's you always been. What I said before? Oh, oh, okay, never mind. If you mean like, okay, if you're talking about like the shit Ted's talking about, okay, never mind. I get what you mean now. Like you're saying like back in the day you'd be building like the awesome monster truck oh. shit or something, or like, or like Lego. I don't know the 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 zap the Lego Zapinator five thousand right? Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nick, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Nah, I get you now. Those are Legos for people who are boring, like Ted. Boom. 
about everything coming to an end? I know Ted got the Millennium Falcon. Well, I recalled something else. No, 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 no. Nick, I'm not saying you're boring. I'm saying like the, the botanical shit, like the, the one you're talking about, like the flowers and statues, unless you're into that. I'm pretty sure the end is unavoidable. Oh, okay. But it's kind of weird. It doesn't feel that inevitable right now, considering the vast potential inside you. I have a good mix. I have my fancy botanical set next to the man burning hot dog on grill. You keep buying those up? What, like the botanical ones or the man burning hot dog on grill? Because I think you should get that one. Um. The flower ones. What, Nick, are you afraid to say botanical? Are you scared? Bro scared of the word botanical. Bro, I know bro can't spell it. Let's get it. Don't get it twisted. Um. Anyway. Um. Let me see. Lego barbecue. Hold up. That goes hard. Wait, I did. I, oh, wait, Ted. Honestly, when you said. When you said man burning hot dog, like, I thought you were joking. I did not realize this was, like, the man burning hot dog set. That is really cool, Ted. Like, I thought you just meant, like, a guy, like, grilling a hot dog. But, like, damn, that that is the man burning hot dog set. Nick, can you buy that one? This is my prized possession. I don't know, I used to have Legos, but like, I was really bad at building them, so. The, the, the rule books are too hard, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like the drawing tutorials where it's like, okay, draw a circle. Now you draw two circles for the eyes, and it's like, okay, like now you're done. And it's like completely detailed and shit. I'd buy it if it came without the fire truck because I grew up too much. Bro can't follow directions? I mean, it's real. I mean, apparently I can follow directions enough to get a college degree, but. When it comes to building Legos, no way, Jose. Plus, it seems like your powers changed quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, can I be your friend? I'm really curious about you. What do you say? Hell no. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Guess you don't really care. Maybe I didn't need to bring it up, hmm? The one I found yesterday was women collecting eggs from a chicken coop with ATV. That is very cool. You and I have been together since the beginning. My name is Pharaohs. Like the lockstone from Dark Souls 2? Great. Really? This is a social link? Death? I am thou. Really? My name's Shirley Pums. Guys, hear me out. What if this is a chef man situation? What if this is my, my long lost twin that I ate in the womb? Well, it's getting late. So That's why he looks I'm like me so now. much. I can hardly wait until the next time we meet. Bye bye. Thoughts? Good morning. Good morning, Pums. Tamagishi will be living in the dorm with us starting today. And from this point on, she'll be providing us support in Tartarus at night. The same ghost pair of the chick from Beyond Two Souls? Now that would be really cool. That would be really cool if true. Oh, nice! Mitsuru can join battles. That's reassuring. Yes. You can depend on me. Even if I'm a bit slow starting out, rest assured that I'll catch up to you all in no time. So it might be time to go back to Tartarus now, finally. I'm assuming, guys, did they say Tartarus opened up more after last time? Oh, good. Or maybe that's going to happen today since, since like new people are joining. I know this is sudden, but the chairman will be coming by again this evening. I'd like everyone to gather at the usual place tonight. He just came by the other day. Something happened? Apparently, he's prepared some special Yay, gifts for us. gifts! Who wants gifts? I know it'll be busy with Yamagishi moving into the dorm, but I'd appreciate it if you could all come by. Jeff, man? You mean me? Special. Is what? that mean we can expect something good? I 
to know. This is Ikutsuki-san we're talking about. He's probably just gonna tell us some new joke he made up. Yay, new jokes. Um... What the hell? Oh, oh, she has more quests. I thought she was, like, yelling at me for not... I thought she was yelling at me for, like, not doing them. Sincerely yours forevermore. Tommy, she wants me. Tommy, if she's your girl, how come she's telling me sincerely yours forevermore? Um... Wait, you see, lately, my wife has been saying that she wants to see Shorely chan I, I think a lot of people's wives have been saying that. Are you busy? I can play today! Come to the shrine! Um... Here, let's go grab the quest from Elizabeth, just in case there's something I can do now. Um. All right. looking... Let's see. Are you accepting a request? Oh, she wants a rose bouquet. I think I have one. Maybe. Oh yeah, it says report. Excellent. Now let's hear your report. You have my thanks. They're gorgeous. Thank you for this lovely gift. Truly, I've heard that in the language of flowers, that meaning. The meaning of bouquet depends on how many stalks <laughs> there are. So this bouquet means, hee hee, I'll look more into the matter later. Um, bring a fashionable item. Oh, yes. Humans are greatly fixated on their appearance. Therefore, I like to try my hand at dressing up as well. If you don't mind terribly, could you please bring me a fashion item that would suit me? Um, I will await a report of success. A triangular sword. <laughs> For this request, I'll be changing it up. A little quiz. Bring me a triangular sword. It was originally used for dueling. Huh. By all means. A triangular sword. Huh. Triangle strategy. I will await a report of success. Um. By all means. I will await a report okay, so it must have opened success. up. Oh, Jack Frost dolls! Wait, three of them? Come to think of it. Oh, you got a test to take, Leo. Later, Emperoni. Good luck. Good luck with your test. One for me to love, one for me to display, and one to promote his adorableness. I will await nice. a report of success. Oh yes. Uh, research lab called the nurse's office. Okay. Um. By all means. Okay. Okay. And then all of my other ones are still there. Um. Let's see. Bunny suit. Bunny suit. Bunny suit. Chef man. I think you can find that on Twitter, probably. The world you live in. A triangular sword. Huh. Very well then. Triangular sword. Originally used for dueling. Gamer. Let's see. To start the game, insert one coin. Control it by using the two buttons, and what are you looking at? I'm just reading the directions. I'm carefully planning my moves. Nice. That guy is a gamer. This opens up, what? 20 seconds? Or it's only June, right? Alright. So we got a while for this. Um. Huh. Oh, I wonder. Oh, let me go get my card, right? Oh wait, this is not the right thing. I have to go over here, right? Um... I, I just have so many. I need to get more skill cards so I can do hit, like, different things. 
You know what I mean? I'm like, I have like five of like almost everything I have. Um. And I wonder if I can uh, talk to the kid about the cat now. He said his cat was free. He said his mom got the cat from the animal shelter. I didn't know you could do that. I thought you'd only get cats from the pet store. Indubitably. It is gonna like open up at the end of the game. I've had cat food this entire game for this moment, and it's not gonna happen until like the end of the game or some shit. Um. Is there a? I forgot. I forgot what day my uh, my plants will be ready. Let me grab another feed ring just in case. Please. Oh, Kenji's here. Oh, hey, Pump. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna buy a gift for a girl. I should probably get her a bouquet of flowers, right? I bet if I bought something like that, we'd get a lot closer. Indubitably. Oh, I've never been to the movie theater, actually. I always forget that's here. But it's only during the day, right? And during the day, I feel like I always want to do my social links, because that's when, like, all of them are available. I feel like nighttime, like, nothing, no one's available, really, so. Um. What do I do? Oh, I want to check my, 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 uh, my plants. I want to see if I have to soil my plants. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, you can't go in the dorm at night. Or at day, otherwise it like, waste your time, right? Let me just hang out with, uh... Let's hang out with Yuko, I suppose. Funny suit spring trap? Ed, you might be onto something with that. You might be onto something with that. Uh, I forgot what floor Yuko's on. Oh, can I go in the art room now? It's been a while. No, they, they don't want new members. They don't want me in the club. Hey, Bumskoon, are you heading home? Thinking of Ted's Lego make me want to get actual big ro- Actually get my big robot Lego? Do you mean Gundam or- or is there like big robot Legos that are not Gundam? Um... We were interrupted last time, so if you're down, want to try hanging out again? Yeah. <laughs> Great, then let's hit the town and have some fun this time. How about we head to the Polonia Mall? Maybe we get some cake from Chagall, too. Oh, yeah. Have you been training to strengthen your core? It's a good idea if you want to shorten your runtime. You're less likely to injure yourself, too. I was talking with Kaz about putting it in the first year's practice routine, actually. Mind if we continue talking in the cafe? I'm a little hungry. Ow! Oh hell nah. This is the second you time. Again. Oh man. You know it's dangerous to be running around a place like this. You're lucky it's just me. But what if you bumped into a scary man, huh? If you wanna play, do it at your schoolyard. What? We can't play there. The sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer. We're not allowed to play here? They said they'll move if we can beat them in a race, but we're only fourth graders. There's no way we could win. That's why we had to play tag here instead, Auntie Yuko. Let the auntie slide this time, but only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. Yo, training art? This is so big! Wow, high school is amazing! They said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed in here. Understand? So don't touch anything you're not supposed to, and if something happens, let us know immediately. Can you promise that? We promise! Good. Then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12. And don't go inside the school building. Wait, until it reaches 12? Is Aren't we after school? Are they going to be here till midnight? Alright, let's do this. Oh wait, they said big hand, didn't they? This is the clock reading challenge. 
<laughs> the big hand. Come here for a second. This is the clock reading challenge. Gen Z don't know how to read clocks anymore. Floor. And don't lift your legs so high, or you might pull a muscle. Come on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. Woohoo! Check this out. Wow, Henshon, you're so fast! Hey, Big Sis, you should be our coach. I'm a real sucker when kids look at me that way. But I've never tried coaching before. What do you think I should do? Uh, why not give it a go? Really think I should? No, I lied. Please. 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 Hmm. Well, it isn't a decision to make lightly. Hmm. All right, I'll be your coach. I'm not gonna go easy on you guys, and no one's allowed to quit halfway either. Got it? Got it, Coach Hugo! Hey, is he gonna teach us too? Is he your boyfriend, Coach? Never you mind about that. Now everyone, line up! I said I wouldn't go easy on you, didn't I? Yuko began passionately instructing each child. <laughs> That's He's not a no! Positive. If you think you're gonna lose, you will! Don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders. That sounds hard, but okay. We we need Maya. We need to get back on the MMO grind set so we can talk to Maya more. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um, I was wondering, would you maybe want to do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking a lot, but I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic too. So if you'd coach them with me, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Please? Honestly, I don't think I can handle it on my own. It's kind of a hassle. I mean, I mean, sure thing. Oh, thank goodness. Dude, that's why they call me Shirley Pumps. I'm sure those kids will be happy too. Thanks. Seems like Yuko is counting on me. I know that I keep asking you for favors, but I'll make it up to you one day. Anyone else jumping around now or just me? Yamagishi-san, are you in there? Yes, come in. And look, yo, Fuka's got all the I flower think we Legos. I start heading to the command room and... Huh? You already finished unpacking? I was planning on helping you out later, too. Well, I didn't have too much with me, so I finished a lot sooner than I expected. She's like, I didn't have much, bro. There, there were, like, way too many flowers in here. Oh, are you good with computers by any chance? You think you could teach me? I'm really not good with stuff like that. Sure, if you'd like me to. Are you looking into something? Yes. I figured I should know everyone's defining characteristics and whatnot to prepare for battle. Does she just have like a cabinet I full of- I can't do any actual fighting, so I need to make myself useful. Like a cabinet full of flowers? To carry the hi-fi? Oh, like the rush. Yeah, yeah. Staria up here on her own. Yeah, I got you. I see. Oh, I, I didn't even notice that at first. But yeah, dude, like, look at the shelf that's like right behind uh, Yukari. There's, she just like has her like flowers organized by like color. Like, like, why did she need that? Like, why does she need that in her room? Like the other ones that are up there in like little like, you know, like baskets and whatever. Like, sure, that's that's cool or whatever. But like, why does she have them like organized by color? Like, like, they're not planted or anything. Just like. I don't know. Oh, I see. You're a really hard worker, Yamagishi-san. And you've got an amazing ability, too. Now that I think about it, everyone in this dorm is pretty amazing, huh? Sonata-senpai is hands down one of the strongest. And our leader has a power unlike anyone else's. I bet Kirijo-senpai is strong, too. And Junpei... Well, he's... whatever. He is whatever. But what do I have? I'm only half the person everyone else here is. 
I couldn't even do anything the last full moon. Maybe I don't need to be here after all. <laughs> That's not true at all. Huh? I was told that a persona is the power of the soul, also known as your other self. That's why I think a persona. person's personality and feelings are reflected in their persona. For example, Takeba-san, your persona has healing powers, right? That's because there's a kindness in you that no one else has. Yeah, except except for uh, Akihiko and me, you know, except for except for us, but like uh, I'm not kind at all. I just don't want to see anyone go down or get hurt, that's all. <laughs> Come on. I think Akutsuki sounds going to be here soon. Oh, and you can just call me Yukari. I hope you like it here, Fuka. I'm sure I will. Thank you, Yukari-chan. Sorry for calling you all again so soon, but I brought something special today. Well, let me just show you before I get into explaining what it is. A gazillion dollars. There's a gazillion dollars in the briefcase. <sighs> Like oh, some new that would explain why it's new. After spending quite some time in development, we're now ready for the battle testing phase. The shadows are getting stronger. You just barely won the last battle. You can only assume they'll grow even more powerful still. That's why you all need something more to stay in the fight. From now on, I want everyone to use these during your operations. He says this, but you know Junpei's still going to be pulling up in the tux. Combat gear, complete with a matching armband. And your new trump card in the battle against the shadows. Cartridges that enable the use of Theurgy. Of who now? Theurgy? Theurgy means spiritual magic that could reach the gods. In oh, Greek. the orgy. Oh, that power sounds pretty strong. To put it simply, it synchronizes with the user's emotions. And when the oh, right this is like super met, move. Allows them to unleash an attack of immense power. Oh, you're talking about signature attacks. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for something like this. Dune pays like me. Okay, how does it work? Well, about that, it's a bit difficult to explain. I think it might be easier if you just try it out for yourselves. All right. Hold on. Isn't it dangerous to use something like this without knowing how it works? Oh, don't worry about that. It's been well tested and determined completely safe. By who? Oh, there's a manual for it as well. Take a look at it if you feel the need. If he knows other persona users who can test this shit. Well, I'm sure glad. Why aren't I they helping us? Today. With Yamagishi kun joining us, Kirijo kun can go back to being a frontline fighter. That means Seize is going to have <laughs> a new lineup after today. <laughs> that would be really cool. I, I like Junpei should have been like, yeah, it's showtime. I can't wait to do an attack or some shit. That would have been really awesome. Um, and what better time than now to roll out this new weapon? Don't you agree? Oh, would you look at the time? I'd like to talk more about this, but I've been quite busy with the investigation into those large shadows. Well, Nick, that's what I'm talking about. I think we're on the verge of a This is why I think though, this guy's evil. So I'll be sure to let you know what we find out soon. Um, okay. I'm leaving the rest to you, Kirijo kun. Like, he seems evil. Like, he just, like, shows up and disappears at random times, and he talks... And there he goes. Like, he just, like, knows too much. He seems too strong. I sort of thought this before, but he's rather laid back, isn't he? More like careless. It's fine. We should just give it a go, like the chairman said. In fact, since everyone's already here, now might be the best opportunity. Let's head into Tartarus and try out our new equipment. I've been wanting to get back into the swing of things anyway. And this will serve as a good test of our team lineup with Yamagishi as backup. How does that sound? Sounds like a pain. Ah, uh, don't be like that. You brought 
lefties just for us. And you wouldn't want to miss out on my super cool finishing move, would you? Hmm, that does sound super that cool. I don't care about. But we should go for Fuka's sake so she can get used to things. Are they gonna force me in Tartarus? I'm a little nervous Arr. since it's my first time, but I'll follow your lead. Okay, buddy. All right, we'll go into Tartarus once everyone is geared up. Understood. No, they're gonna force me in Tartarus, bro. I wanted to, I wanted to get the fortune reading. I wanted to, I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. Unless it's just like tutorial mode where they're gonna, huh? Oh shit! Avengers assemble. What the fuck is this, bro? This is the Avengers Assemble. I agree, Junpei. Come on, could you at least wear it like you're yeah, Exactly, to? it's epic. Oh, but it does look like everyone's outfits are a bit different. Each one is made to complement our physiques and fighting styles. And we're testing the prototype out on me. But it feels even better than it did before. It's very light and sturdy. I wonder if it's the same materials they use in the military. Or maybe even the ones for spacesuits. Do you think Bebe made it? Bro, Bebe's in, like, France again. Seems like this armband isn't just for decoration, either. According to the manual, there are a bunch of different features built into it. For example, it can give you a readout of your vitals. Hmm, what else? There's also a function that notifies you when you can use your theurgy? What does that do? Sorry, it doesn't look like there's much information about that. All I can tell is that you load the cartridge into your evoker to use it. Then let's make that our objective for today. Make sure to stay alert, everyone. Oh, if this is just tutorial right, Yamagushi, time, that's whatever. You're going to be our backup, just like I mentioned before. This time, I'll be joining the rest of you in battle. I saw an ad for P3 somewhere where they said secret for the acronym instead of specialized, really? I guess they're secret like that. Um, well, Nick, were you there? Were you there when I talked to uh, Elizabeth? She said, um, I, I talked to Elizabeth and she said, wow, you have Jack-O-Lantern and Jack Frost? Like, they're going to do something crazy. I'm going to. I got to make sure my skills are still sharp. Me too. All right. Then including our leader. Wait, is Junpei team. kicked out? What? Wait, I want to go too. Yeah, I want to see a super cool move. I was so ready for this. You can't just put me on standby. We can't go without our leader. You stay here and support Yamagishi. Gotta keep our ace in reserve. Oh, really? Yeah, really. When you put it that way, how can I refuse? Don't worry, Fuka. Nothing's getting past me. Uh, okay. <laughs> Nick, isn't this the face you sent earlier? Is this this the version of the uh, the like this game's version of the face you sent earlier? Never tags him in for the rest of the game. No, Chelsea. I will honestly probably use Junpei. I might kick out Yukari depending on what Mitsuru skills are. There he goes again. Fuka, if it gets too dangerous, just leave him behind. And don't be afraid to smack him if he tries anything funny. Okay, got it. Huh? You get it? Yamagishi, could you scout the area and find a good floor for us to start on? Okay. 
If you dedicate time to Junpei, you'll regret it. No, I won't. It seems different in here from before. Well, that's nothing new, right? No, not like that. It seems distorted. It's probably just temporary. I'll try and find a stable floor for us to start on. You can tell that much already? Wow, Fuka. I will, I will never regret dedicating time to Junpei. the usual way last time. Or because of those huge shadows. You have no idea what's gonna happen in here. Not that I'm complaining, though. All right, let's go. Oh, that new sword looks pretty cool. And this bow I got is really light and looks pretty easy to use. I can't wait to see it in action. So the chairman got us all new weapons hey. too, huh? Guess we should be thanking him. He barely explained anything though. Sometimes I can't tell if he's actually helpful or not. All of this has been custom made for us. You can tell because of the C's mark engraved on everything. Uh -huh. As always, you're in command. And make sure to check the equipment before we get started. Nice. Nice. Let me see. Let me take a peek, C's. Did Junpei get something new? Oh, okay, I thought for a second they didn't give Junpei anything new. I was like, that's fucked up. Although, actually, I like this crit. Like, I feel like this sword is better than the, the great sword, but just me. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a big upgrade. I mean, the magic and agility buff was nice, but this is a huge upgrade, so. There's no new armor, right? Yeah, this is also a big upgrade. Um, yeah, Junpei, you're gonna put the tuxedo back on. That's all I'm saying. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um. Yeah, that's a straight upgrade. Any new shoes? No, he couldn't give us new shoes. Come on. Um. No, oh, he already has pretty decent stuff. Oh, wow. Even her boots are good. Oh, but she's only wearing some fancy nails. Um, okay. Oh, and Fuka. Uh, does this stuff actually matter? I guess maybe the accessory would matter, right? Um... Yo, what's up, Witch? How are you doing? Um, we just got, we just got, we just got big squad. We got a new squad. Um. What? Oh, I want to see, I want to see, uh, Mitsuru's, uh, persona. Who is squad? Well, we got Fuka and Mitsuru now. Um. Does she have slash for her melee? Um, oh, she's got ice and she's weak to fire. Um, decreased defense, that's good, I like that. And she, and, and then there, there it is, Marin Karen. We, we've been waiting for this one. Um, let me, let me throw on, oops. Let me throw on... Maybe the reduced fire damage? Let's throw that on. I mean, she is weak to fire, so I guess that'll help, right? Um... Although I don't really know if that's gonna help prevent, like, uh... I don't know if that's gonna help prevent anything. Like, she's still gonna get knocked down. I guess it'll just help her not die. Um... Mitsuru. <laughs> um, yeah, no, she, she's here now. I just... If I give... Is that new girl neat? Who, Fuka? She's, like, the navigator now, so she's just gonna be doing what Mitsuru used to do. But I think she can, like, analyze enemies now. Um... So, she's not really, like, a combat unit. Um, like, I literally just got them, so I have no idea. Like, this, this is literally... The reason I'm going through their equipment right now is because we literally just got access to them. 
Um, I, I don't know. I don't want to waste like a magic thing on her, but I have two. It's whatever. She can have the magic thing. I don't know if it'll actually help, but maybe it will. Um. When I'm geared up just like everyone else, it really psyched me. It got me. Yeah, it gets me really psyched up. Um. Okay, let's see. Yes. Oh, I'm ready. Can't go with you, but I'll do my best to back you up from here. Looks like we're here. Yamagishi, do you copy? Yes, I'm here. Are you picking up any shadows? Um, it looks like there's one close by. Be careful. All right, let's head over there and feel things out. Um, but yeah, we also, we also, they just gave us the new uniform, so we have, like, the, <clears throat> we have, like, the new uniforms or whatever, like, everyone's, like, got, like, new drip. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is the tutorial for, uh, the super moves, because we also got access to that, it seems like. Honestly. Mitsuru's looking to feel things out. Oh, yeah, I know. I know, Miss Witch, I mean. You're approaching I don't know, it is Valentine's Day. Roger that. I'm always ready. Leader, are you ready? Then let's go. <laughs> All right, we have the advantage. This should be a good test of your strength. But don't get careless. Yeah, so, so basically what Fuka does is on this screen, I can get a full analysis of the enemy. Um, and, and Fuka will tell me what the deal is. Take care of this. The strong one, be on your guard. This should be a good test of your strength. Take it one oh, you beat the one? Let's go. Um. I mean, they have they have lightning abilities, right? They're not going to be weak to lightning. Um. But what if they're weak to fist? What if they're weak to punch? They also have wind abilities, so they're probably not weak to wind either. But what if they're weak to fears? Alright, now let's let's think. They have wind and they have lightning. What would they be weak to? Ice? Eh? Oh wait! Can I do the uh Can I do the Jack Frost move? The Jack O' Lantern? Can I jack my ship? Maybe not yet. No, but they are weak to ice, it looks like. It would be on their skills? Okay. Um. Like, like Elizabeth literally said to me, she was like, you have some pretty, uh, he was like, those two guys are pretty cool. Well. You should try them out. But I guess, like, I still don't have that yet. You were amazing! Great job! Thank you, Yukari-chan. I still send some enemies nearby. Keep an eye out if you decide to engage them. Oh, we're engaging them, all right. <laughs> okay, buddy. Hector, it's called Valentine's Day. You work at a bakery. Like, I don't know. I feel like... Honestly, Hector, I feel like that lines up pretty... Like, I, I feel like that makes a lot of sense. Is that you get a lot of dumbass MFers on Valentine's Day. Um... What did I miss? Well, we have Mitsuru and Fuka now. And I think this is gonna be the tutorial. Like, I think they're gonna give me the tutorial for... Um... Or the super moves in a second because we all got the new outfits and stuff and they they said we have super moves now but we don't know how to do it yet all right and we got a little awesome cutscene there because there's my <laughs> i didn't use our persona in the first fight <laughs> yeah so everyone has new drip too actually if you haven't noticed. Good work, I think. Don't pull in for 
Dude, his new, like, knuckle weapons are, like, awesome. By the way. Well, the combat uniform seems to be working out, but what about the theurgy thing? Namagishi, have you figured anything out on your end? Um, I'm sorry, it's still unclear. I'm picking up something during battle, though. I see. No pressure, just continue your observation. Oh, hello. Uh, only one shadow left, so we're, we're about to go crazy mode on this last guy. This guy's about to take a beat. Wait, hold up. That's the last shadow. What if there's like secret loot? Time to finish this. This is basically like free day of Tartarus. You know, I gotta, I gotta steal all the free loot I can. Is that where I came from, or, or is there actually a new floor? Oh shit, are we actually? Okay, okay. I was gonna say, are we actually like spending a day in Tartarus? I wasn't sure if this like actually was like real Tartarus or is this fake Tartarus for the tutorial. This shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, guys, what if they replaced the, uh, what if they replaced the first G in Tartarus with the F thought? Oh, Hector, I mean, Hector, that was literally just, uh, they had, like, the Avengers assemble because we had our new gear on. That's all that was. Detect any shadows. All the ones on this floor have been defeated. It's all coming back to me. It would be wise for me to keep battling. Let's keep going then. Um. Oh, I want this. I want this shiny. I guess the next floor is gonna be the boss, and we're all gonna hit the super move like crazy on the boss. And then they'll probably be like, "That's enough for today." And they don't let me insta travel to the next floor in Fake Tartarus. But yeah, Hector, the anime cutscene was literally just like Avengers Assemble. We all have our new gear, and we walked into Tartarus all cool like, and that was it. Um, yeah, I was about to ask the same thing. I don't know what Ash Wednesday uh, is either. I'm sensing something on the floor above us. Is it some kind of powerful shadow? No, it it feels similar to the distortion I felt earlier. Roger, let's move carefully and assess the situation when we get upstairs. First day of Lent. I mean, we already been over this before. I also don't don't really know what the fuck that means. So. Huh? What? Why is it all dark? Where did everyone go? Please, everybody, just stay calm. It looks like you were all sent to different locations on this floor. So they separated us by force. There's danger lurking in this darkness. We need to regroup as soon as possible. Yamagishi, can you guide us? No, Hector, well, that's what I'm saying, but I, do, I still don't really understand what it is. Um, but either way. Uh, why now? But yeah, Hector, you're like, it's not even because Valentine's Day? I mean, you're probably yeah, just so getting... Where should I go if I want to... Like, I feel like you're probably just getting a lot of people because it is Valentine's Day, so of course there's going to be more dumbass MFers, you know what I mean? Huh? Right? <laughs> Later, you're here. What the hell? What the flip? Ow! Not again. Holy schmoly. One is always protecting me. I'm getting hurt because of it. Yukari, it's showtime. Time for time to kaboom him. What are you even doing? Yukari-chan, who 
Luca, I need you to back me up. A boom on. I'll hold this thing off until everyone else gets here. Oh, okay, Yukari. Oh, wait, Chris? Okay. Yeah, grow up, Yukari. Dude, that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> wait, is this? Yukari chan, load the cartridge into your focus! I know. Dude, she's gonna load in. Yeah, AI party, right? She's gonna load in the thing. It's just gonna be a, a, an actual bullet and shoot herself in the head. She's gonna die. Um, Lent is six weeks of penitence slash Jesus wacky 40 days in the desert. Oh, okay. So, like, people actually do that? Like, what? Are people gonna. Are people buying shit from the bakery so they can spend 40 days in the desert? What the fuck are people on Long Island trying to find a desert for? They're done for. Yeah, it's ass now. Now's the time. But hold up. Here it comes. Super kaboom. When emotions run high in battle, you or your party members will be able to activate gear. We activate on your turn. Once the gauge is max, unlike normal moves, they do not cause HP or SP. It cannot be used while you are inflicted by a status ailment. Cyclone arrow. Kaboom. Jeez. Are you okay? I never did anything for Lent. I just got my funny forehead cross and then wait for Easter. I don't even know the I don't even know what the forehead cross is. Like like guys, I don't know. I really like I know nothing about like anything religious. Um like I really have no idea what the hell you're talking about to be honest. I'm sorry. It was all my fault. No, no, I, I, yeah, no, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, I, I genuinely, like, have no idea. Uh, what was that just now? I don't really know. My body just sort of took control. Takeba, later. Looks like you both are okay. Sorry I worried everyone. It's all right. You did well in handling an unexpected situation. Maybe we should consider starting over. Let's head back to the entrance for now. Good work out there, team! Yeah, I don't know, Chelsea, but that's the thing is, like, I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Like, I feel like if I, if I did see that, I'd be like, what the fuck? And I feel like I'd remember it, but I don't. That's the, I don't know. Maybe, maybe my ass just never never went outside on an Ash Wednesday. Maybe I knew. Maybe I thought that shit was Ash Baby Wednesday, and I didn't want to be like the Ash Baby Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I, so I stayed indoors. Yeah, no, I don't know. Um, I have no idea. I'm sorry. I should have been able to navigate better. You did great for your first time. Smile. I agree. I'm convinced that you're the one we need on support. Yeah, thanks a lot, Fuka. I didn't do anything. It was all you, Yukari-chan. That special attack sure was cool, though, Yukitan. How'd you... How? I just focused really hard and thought to myself... I have to do whatever it takes. You only got Mormons out there? That's rough, because don't aren't Mormons like actual and like while I was thinking that, motherfuckers I about like felt everything? Surging inside me. The chairman did say the cartridge would synchronize with our emotions. I mean, Mormons are the ones who do soaking, right? That shit that shit sounds hype. I gotta try that out sometime. Um Right. Although I'm still not Yeah, that sounds sure hype, which it, it must be hype out there, which it reacted to Yukari Chan's strong emotions. So this weapon gives the user strength beyond their limits when their emotions <laughs> are heightened. Uh I don't really get it.
we got the witnesses out in that in this part of li the uh i mean those, those are the those are the the mfers that be showing up at your door right i mean if it wasn't obvious chef man i clearly never got those guys at my house because of where my house was <laughs> so i guess i guess we were safe from that but basically if we're fired up enough we can really pop off right and thanks to you yukari chan we have a good idea of how it works from now on i should be able to tell when someone can use theirs I'm dying to try for myself. Me too, me too. Actually, I'm pretty fired up right now. Maybe I can already cook one up. Oh, let him cook. Um, actually, I think it's too dangerous to use here, Junpei. I'll do more research into how the sinking with emotions works later. The grind calls, okay, which, see you later. Enjoy the rest of work uh, if you can. <laughs> so the timing on when they can use these will probably be different too. Really, Chef Man? That's that's insane. See, like shit like that is why like I'm like religion's kind of crazy sometimes because I don't know. There's just crazy shit like that sometimes. I'd like to give it a go myself, but we should call it a day for now. We can't overwork our leader, and we've got some time until the next full moon. I'm a little worried about the change with the floors, though. What if something like that happens again? Yes. If something has changed with your time, science we'll teacher, need to be extra careful when exploring from now on. Um. <laughs> yeah, Nick. Well, listen, I'm not trying to be at Railroad. I'm just saying, like, case, I feel like that shit's crazy. We had some problems, but we learned a lot today. Not only did we get to test our new lineup and equipment, but we also got to see that we're all improving at a remarkable pace. Aw, Kirijo Senpai! Quit buttering me up. <laughs> just leave everything to Junpei Iori, the soon to be MVP. Nick, you're like you're gonna regret if you if you if you use Junpei. My brother in Christ, he's the soon to be MVP. That's something you just don't understand. Maybe I shouldn't be the one to say this, but you literally didn't do anything what? today. The flip. What the flipping tin? <laughs> Nick, you're Yukari pill. I'm surprised, Nick. Well, maybe not surprised, but like, I know you said you weren't super. Uh, you weren't super. Um, Hello, this is Elizabeth. You weren't a huge fan of Yukari, right? I'm surprised because I feel like Yukari shits on Junpei so much, and you and Yukari would be like the blowjob bros, like hating on Junpei, you know? Yeah, see, like, Nick, that's why I'm surprised. It's like, I thought, like, you, you'd you be like, okay, like, you, like, you and Yukari, like, stand in solidarity of, like, of, like, uh, uh, of, like, the whole, um, hating Junpei de ordeal. You could live or don't take the blood infusion and die to make your fake god happy. I mean, yeah, I mean, you didn't have, you didn't have to say the fake part, Ryan. That was kind of rude. That was kind of rude. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I feel the same way pretty much, so, <laughs> I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had yay, been yay, more Tartarus. Opened. I thought it prudent to inform you. No, yeah, I kind of agree. Well, like Yukari has not I been wish super you a cool. Safe journey. I said the quiet part out loud. My bad. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Ryan. Okay, Hector, I got you. So is that why they're at the bakery? So they can get bread and shit? Oh, oh, shit. Bro's got the St. Joseph pastries? Ain't that where my brother went to college? To get more knowledge? Actually, I think he got stupider there, but... Yeah, I forgot the knowledge part. <laughs> um, 
Only bread and fish? Damn. That's, uh... Well, I love bread, so, like, I'd be on my... You know, maybe I should... Maybe I should become religious, guys. <laughs> Just makes you to eat more bread. Uh, cause I, I love me some bread. But no, uh... I don't really like fish, though. They got the ashes on the foreheads, and I'm trying to play House of the Dead. Well, Hector, the, uh, that, that, <laughs> like, one that's a crazy-ass thing to just drop in Twitch chat. But, but also the, uh, what's it called? Um, but yeah, Chelsea was telling me a little bit, but I, I like I said, I still did not follow because I'm a dumbass mf -er. Um, you could just eat bread anyway. The, uh, what's it called? Um... Yeah, but Ryan, like, here's the thing, Ryan, is, like, then I could be eating bread for, like, plus imaginary Riz. You know what I'm talking about? Medieval people were wild and considered some crazy things as fish. They said beavers were fish. That's funny. I guess because, like, they were in water, right? Oh, those two things were unrelated? Oh, okay, Hector. Okay, I gotcha. Those are unrelated? Yeah. Yeah, throw chicken and cows in the water and call them fish. Now that's funny. I feel like, uh, I feel like, um, I feel like that's like, th that's a thing like to this day though. I feel like, um, like with religion, like people are like, yeah, you know, you got to follow the Bible or whatever. And then like in the Bible, doesn't it literally say like no eating like shrimp or something or like no eating seafood period. But like they love doing that shit, right? Am I crazy? Isn't that like something that's already in the Bible? Um, you know, well, um, actually, that's just your interpretation. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> well, well, Nick, you may be onto something. Honestly, I was thinking, Nick, I was thinking that medieval people are crazy because a lot of them are like. Um, a cartoony skeleton with, like, one eyeball and another eye socket with no eyeball. That's actually, I was thinking that's what medieval people are kind of like, to be honest, but maybe you and me have two different, uh, maybe that's just your interpretation, of course. No shellfish, no mixed materials in clothing, yeah. Like, there's definitely some weird things, right? So... That's why, that's why it's always, like, um... Yeah, I never played them. I never played them, Nick. Um, the, uh... Well, because there's always, like, you know, there's always the MFers that are like, oh, like... Um... MFers are always like, oh, like, I have to hate gay people because it says so in the Bible or whatever. And it's like, my brother in Christ, like, you... You're, I'd catch your ass eating wiener. Um, I mean, eating shellfish. Um, you know? And I think that's pretty shellfish of you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get it? Also, didn't the Bible say love love thy neighbor or some shit? Bro, what if your neighbor's a guy? Then you gotta love them or something, right? So, I don't know. What are they trying to say? What are they trying to say? Was, was Jesus, you know. I want to play Spyro. I mean, they have the trilogy, right? The reignited trilogy or whatever. Oh, oh, they, oh, really, Hector, really? They say that? Dang, dang, I didn't know they say that. Well, they, they must have been talking about the cigarettes, right, Hector? That must have been, like, an anti-smoking thing by Jesus, right? Like, he wouldn't want you to, to smoke, would, would he? That's probably what he's talking about, right? It must have been, must have been that. Elizabeth said that a previously blocked path is now open. I should check it next time I go to Tartarus. Hey, you free? A little refresher. Um. Hold on. I will. I will be right back real fast. I just gotta. I just gotta run to the bathroom real fast. Anyone else? Anyone else potty trained or just me? Anyway, I'll be right back. <laughs> I just realized, I literally just muted my mic, I was talking to myself. Bro, it's still here? Yeah, I was going potty. What can I say? 
No, I said, um, I was saying, um, if I stand up, I get music. I wanted you guys to listen to some, some tunes, at least, while I was, while I was BRBing. Anyway, while I was BRPing, eh? And yeah, that, that's actually what was happening. I was really just yapping on the empty can or the, the muted mic. Anyway, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hector, Hector, you can't just say that, Hector. You, I was trying to impress the viewers. Oh, really, Nick? Really? You think so? That's pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Um, What was I going to say? Oh, by the way, I, I was just thinking about it while I was uh, peeing all over myself. Um, Off camera, of course. The, uh... Oh, really, Nick? Really? That's impressive. That's very impressive. Um, how's the, uh, how's the, you know, in, in the bathroom, you know, it got a little messy and I was thinking about it. Um, how's the snow situation in, uh, in, uh, in New York? Is that, is that shit all gone now? Or are you guys still in, like, a foot of snow? It's dry now? No, I'm talking about the weather, not your diaper. Um... Piles, but the roads are clear. Gotcha. It's amazing commodity. I'm going to do. Oh, Father's Day. What, what we got? Brand watch. Not bad. And mega protein. Oh yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely, I'll buy that. Um. What was he about to say? Wait, what? Me or Tanaka or? Oh, he said, I'm going to? <laughs> you don't want to know, Nick. You don't want to know. That shit was censored for a reason. Oh, you know what? Can I use the fridge yet? Is that is that something I can do? I still have that thing I need to put in the fridge from like years ago. Six sixteen. We have two days before I can use the fridge. Dude, we've we've been holding on to this thing for like what, like two um, months or something, probably. Um, sun's out for the next few days, so it's gonna melt quick. Gotcha. Well, no, I, I just know Hector was mentioning he was at work, and I know he was working yesterday when it was like really bad. Um, but I figured it must have stopped right if Hector's at work again. I was just curious. Triangular sword. Mm. Triangular object used for dueling. Oh. That makes sense. Right? Um. Because uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce the sword, but in Epi has like the. Epi or whatever? Like the pen or whatever? The Epi pen or whatever has like the. It has like the. Uh, it has like that sort of. Like what a rapier does. Like where it has like the. You know, like the guard thing for your hand, and it's in the shape of a triangle. I, I didn't even think about that. Ooh, ooh! I can't order like double, right? On the on this one. 
Oh no, they're just watching Power Rangers. I thought maybe like I could I could see Tanaka again. Um, we could hang on with Maya. Ooh, and we can rank up with Maya. That seems like the move, right? You're doing uh, pancake enchiladas? Nice, Chef Man. That sounds scrum diddly umptious. Wait, guys, can I ask a stupid ass question? Um, that you guys are probably gonna make fun of me for? Um, what's the difference between an enchilada and a burrito? Is is it just the sauce that you use or whatever? Like, uh, or something? Or, I don't know. No, no, Chelsea. That's a uh, that's something else, right? That's something else. I think. See, I knew Hector's gonna dot 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 me, guys. That's why I said it was a stupid ass question. No, Chef Man, what's the difference between an enchilada and a burrito? What the fuck? See guys, you guys are so rude. Guys, I just want to get more knowledge and you guys won't you guys won't entertain me. Um Tostada? I don't know if I've had a tostada. Oh, it is dipped in sauce? Okay. For some reason, I thought it wasn't. I thought that was something else. Um. So Chelsea was right. I thought that was something else. That I was forgetting the name of. Well, because you know what, 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 what really, what really confused me, what threw a wrench in my plans? Okay, okay. Well, because what really threw a wrench in my plans was, uh... Oh, yeah, you're more you're more mature, Junpei. You're really mature. You grew up a long time ago. Ooh, yeah, you hear that, Yukatan? Guess I was right, and you were wrong. And case in point. <laughs> um, what, what really confused me was recently Taco Bell has enchiladas, and they literally, like, it's literally, like, the same thing as their burritos. Um... Okay, Hector. See, that makes sense. That's why I was confused, because, like, the ones that Taco Bell has is is pretty similar to, like, like a mix. It, it's almost like somewhere between a, a burrito and a taquito. You know what I mean? With, with no, with no, nothing on top of it. Like, no sauces. That's why I was confused. You know, that's what threw a wrench in my plans and, and, and fucked up my way of thinking recently. At least I think, because on the menu... Maybe maybe on maybe it comes with a sauce on the side or something. Oh oh buoy? Yeah yeah the noise. I heard it. I heard it, Chelsea. Chelsea, I don't know if you're here the other day, but Hector Hector pointed that out the other day and I I, I like was like, wait, I know what you're talking about with the deep rock thing. Oh, enchilada literally means in chili sauce. That makes sense. Um now that I think about it for like one second, right? Gotcha, Hector. I gotcha. Well, I think Taco Bell, maybe it comes with a sauce on the side or something and you're supposed to dip it in it. Because I didn't order it. I didn't order it. But on the menu, it literally, like, I was like, this shit looks like a, like something between a taquito and a, uh, and a, uh, burrito. That's why I was asking the question. Because I've seen, like, I've seen the enchiladas that are, that have, like, the sauce over them, right? But more recently, I saw the Taco Bell thing, which is why I was like, wait, it, like, you know, like, it must be something else that makes it an enchilada, not the sauce on top, right? That's why I was confused. Give me chunk of what Deadpool makes. You're so right for that. 
Do I have a pick of them? What? A pick of, like, the enchiladas? I mean, it's on the Taco Bell website. It's called, they, they have, like, it's like one of their new things. What is, what is a chimichanga, guys? I don't think I've ever had one. I just know that's the shit Deadpool likes. <laughs> he's American. No, he's a superhero. Actually, he's a mutant. Oh, it's basically a fried burrito? Gotcha. Tomorrow's Monday, right? I'll just check the equipment shop then if I need anything new. Oh, fried burrito covered in sauce? Okay. So, guys. Now, guys. Guys, now I'm going to ask another question that may you guys may get really angry about. What's the difference between a chimichanga and an enchilada? Oh wait, well chimichangas are fried, right? And enchiladas are just uh, are um, what's it called? Doi. Okay, deep fried. Okay, okay. Got you, got you. Chimichangas are deep fried, yeah. That does sound like some American ass shit. Deep frying a burrito. Um, anyway. Let's hang out with Maya. You know, I've got to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Tatsu. Let's go, Tatsu. Ah, uh, guys. I can't ignore Maya. I, I could not. I could not say no to Maya. Is there anything else I need to do? I don't think so. I just want to make sure. But sometimes there's like free actions I always forget to take. Oh, my crops might be ready soon. But I think they tell me when they are. Like, I think it gives me a pop up. I see Maya. Whoa, did you just get here? We signed on at the same time. The weather's nice today, huh? Let's go outside. In-game. Duh. Christo. Is everyone French in this game? Or maybe that's not French. Guys, what's Christo? So that's French, right? Everyone's French in this game. Oh, is that supposed to be a running emoji? Like it's a smoke cloud behind them? Like they're running? I see, yeah, are you picking up, like, like it's a, a trail of, like, a smoke cloud behind them, right? I thought at first maybe it was, like, a fist bump, right? But, like, why not use an eight or something, right? I think it might be, like, a dust cloud, and you're, like, running away. Enchiladas are also not wrapped. Well, you mean, like, fully wrapped all the way around, right? Like how a burrito, like, they, they tuck that shit in, right? It's still, like, wrapped in, like, a... Like, right, it's still, like, wrapped, like... Okay, okay. They don't tuck their shit. <laughs> this is mega advanced Mogan usage? Nick, I, if this is mega advanced to you, um, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's taquito style wrapped. I gotcha, Hector. That, I just wanted to clarify just to make sure because when you say not wrapped, I was like, I was like, what? It's like, you know, like what? Like it, it's just on a, a tortilla, <laughs> like flat. Um, no, I got you guys, I got you. I'm, pick I'm picking up what you're putting down now. The gray colored sky stretches as far as the eye can see. A barren wasteland lies before Tatsu and Maya. Maya is stretching. Take this emoticon, no, don't punch me. Don't punch me or something, that's gonna hurt. Oh, come on. Wait, why is... Why do you use a three for the tip? I just give you my beaner. I give. I just give you me beaner. <laughs> um, any other food questions? Um, Hector, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Yay! 
Um, no, no, no. Um, D, yeah, everyone uses D for the tip. Am I crazy? Give it the mushroom tip, you know what I'm saying? Um, well, we're rich. Mushroom. Hector, what's your favorite, um, ice cream flavor? Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honey pop filled. Yeah, three or eight is for the balls. Well, I feel like three is for the balls if you're doing the long ways one, like the upwards or downwards wiener, you know? Um... You're viewing it from below. Like, whoa. I can't picture this in my head. Can someone send me a picture of their Wiener from below so I can imagine what Nick's cooking? Yeah, talk about advanced emoji usage. Like, bro, bro used the three for his for his tip. Anyway, um, oh, hey, Hector, food question. Um, what is your favorite? Um. I don't know. What's your favorite food involving a tortilla? Kaboom. Or like, uh, I guess, what's your favorite form of tortilla? Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? <laughs> what's the difference between wiener and wiener? Well, one, I want to suck, and the other, I want to suck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You, you wouldn't want to suck a wiener, but you would want to suck a wiener. You know what I'm saying? For an apocalypse, the air shore is nice out here. <laughs> yeah, right. It's just a game. We should go level or something. I'm so lazy, IRL Tatsu. I haven't even gotten dressed or put on makeup. Crying emoji. I have stands at attention. Arrgh! I'm so pissed off right now. Mr. Who is such a stupid SOB? And then the flip off emoji? And then the flip off emoji? And then she's flipping the bird? Double style? No, no, not the guy from Scooby-Doo Mystery, Inc. I know, I beat this guy at Aeon, that's what I'm saying. Maya, stand back. That Mystery guy might seem pretty strong, but I'll take him. You mean SOB? Are you drunk again? Well, Hector, I mean like, like, uh, I mean like... I guess your favorite food involving a tortilla, like, like, do you, like, prefer, like, enchiladas or, or, I don't know, like, tacos or, like, anything, like, I don't know. As opposed to gay down tortillas, true. Um. Like, I don't know, like, like, what's your favorite, like, I don't know, form of, I don't know. Like, I don't know, there's probably a better way to word it, which is why I was like, eh, but, but, I don't know. Um... Who's Mr. E? Tatsuya, you know too much. Wait! Wait. Guys, I just realized something. This is gonna be the teacher that looks like Yukari. Isn't it? I shouldn't have mentioned his name, huh? <laughs> Rob Mayo. He don't get me busted, K. What is the bottom one? Is that like an angel emoji? Like you have the little halo above you? What is that? I've never seen that before. 
Is that like you have like the little the little uh, halo above you? Yeah, like is that like you're trying to be a good boy? You're like a little angel. Um, you do like enchiladas a lot. It, is that like your favorite? It's a, isn't he, isn't the Sen Goku teacher Mr. E though? Well, I think there's two actually. I think there's two Mr. E's. That's why I'm like, hmm. Maya seems happy. Maya's looking around. Um, there aren't many players no more. Most of them left for that new MMO, COW. There are a lot of dupers and gold farmers, but still. It's good, though, because it lets us talk about personal things, right? Angry, angry tongue at emoji. Um, Hector's favorite tortillas are from Taco Bell. Is that true? Maya is a shy girl, you know. Blush. Lol. See, Mr. is a teacher who's kind of above me. Oh, no, you can't figure out what my job is, can you? Are you a teacher? A drunken master. Yeah, you're smart. I knew you figured it out. Crunch Wrap does go crazy? That is true. But also, uh, Moe's has the stack, which is like also the Crunch Wrap, but you can put whatever you want in it, which is also kind of good. You get an A plus for reading comprehension today, lol. Thumbs up emoji. Dude, you guys would never get this. This could never be you guys in in uh This could never be you guys in uh in the Twitch chat. Maya seems happy. Well, now you know I'm a teacher, XD. I just figured something out. This was me and Dragon Ball Fighters? What, like hitting the Hitting the what want to play with me and shit with like, Super Gamer Girl? When I complain to you, I feel better afterwards, XD. From now on, we have to party up together, okay? Promise? Seems Maya feels comfortable talking to me about real life. I feel like we're growing closer. I'm so pumped. I think I'll clean the bathroom. XT, it's been two months. Maya's player signed off. Maya signed back on. Don't tell anyone about that SOB stuff, okay? It's our little secret. Maya's player signed off. I decided to log out as well. Yeah, that's Ted. That is Ted because he signs off and then he accidentally came back online without setting his status to offline. So that is Ted. Like, instead of logging on and be like, don't for like, forget about that stuff, like, Ted will be like, oh, actually, uh, oops, I forgot to sign off. I'll be substituting for Kurijo Senpai as your navigator from now on. Please let me know if you want to go to Tartarus. I'll do my best. Um, we should definitely go to Tartarus, like, real soon. But tomorrow's Monday, so I kind of want to wait, because Monday they have a sale on weapons. Well, let me go check if weapons are even, uh... Like, new. Like, let's see if there's new ones in stock or not. Also, I need to get more Jack Frost dolls if I can. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm playing until I win. Oh, we got one? Minus 800 yen? Yikes. Oh, wait, one more, one more. How much did I lose? Shit. How much did I lose? Oh my god, I lost like 3,000. Good day. Here are my requests. I think. Wonderful. Seems you've completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. A physical manifestation of Jack Frost. Yep, it's a Jack Frost doll. I'm greatly fond of Jack Frost. May I touch it? Marvelous. Oh my, so soft. To be honest, I was conflicted over what sort of Jack Frost request to make. I was also considering you nurture him until he reaches level 99, but I'm glad I chose to make this request in the end since I've gotten such a cute doll I'm out of it. Forward to it. That said, I would still love to see Jack Frost at his strongest one day. Damn, she wants to level 99 Jack Let's Frost. Hear the results. Seems you completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. If I may say so. As I mentioned before, an 
An epi was was used to duel in ancient times. Fencers would wear white uniforms so that blood from struck blows would be more visible. Request. And now a special quiz just for you. Do you know why my clothes are blue? Um, Because it suits you. <laughs> I will ask my master for the correct answer. Please take this as your reward. Ooh, new sneakers. New J's. Bring the item. Of course. Okay. Some protein. Would you like... Would you try looking for something? I, I think... Will await a report of success. I think I'm getting awesome protein from... What's it called? Oh, wait. From a very athletic friend. Wait. So I can just ask someone for it. Very I thought, uh... I thought it was the protein I was getting from the, the online store. Or from, uh, what's his face? What's the guy? You guys know the guy. Name a guy challenge. Um, Tanaka. And getting protein from Junpei? Well, I wasn't gonna say it. Yeah, from an athletic friend, which one? I assume it means Akihiko. If I had to imagine, but... Um... Yeah, Akihiko. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Pums. You want some protein? Gonna start bodybuilding, eh? I'm proud of you. I can give you something meant for beginners. Yeah. Here it is. It's called Amateur Protein. Specially formulated for people like you. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, escort me to various locations. Guide me through Polonia Mall. If you have the time, please come fetch me. Oh, shit, okay. Um. We'll take no time at all. Okay. Oh, jeez, guys. Am I gonna ask Elizabeth out? Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. I don't know, I'm kinda nervous. Seems you completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. This must be the brand of protein specially designed for amateur athletes. Amateur protein? How can it be for both amateurs and pro? Is that true? Oh, the word protein has nothing to do with professionals. How very interesting. Thank you very much. I'm sure this must be quite valuable. But you may have it back. Thanks for your reward. Hey. Um, and that's it. Here, I can take her. I can take her on a date. Guys, it's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day with Tommy's girl. What more could I ask for? Ooh, fear high? <laughs> oh, it does lose accuracy. I, I actually don't know if I want that. Because fear also makes people run away, right? Um. Like, honestly, the crit rate up, I still kind of like, to be honest. I think I'll chill with this, to be honest. Valentine's Day with Tommy himself? Well, are you saying... I, I wouldn't say Elizabeth is Tommy. If I was spending a Valentine's Day with Tommy himself, or at least his Persona 3 equivalent, I think I'd be in jail. Good day. Oh, 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 what more could I ask Shame. for? So true. Oh, she wants to hang out during the day. Oh man, I, I really just I really just don't understand her at all. See, this is why This is why she's Tommy's girl, because Tommy Tommy would know that that was a foolish mistake of me. Oh yeah, I want to see if there's weapons selling, because if there's not new weapons, I might as well just go in today, right? By the way. Those girls from your school who had apathy syndrome seem to have regained their senses. I'm guessing you had a hand in that. Got some new it things is. in stock. Magic plus Check two. It oh, it's actually it's less damage though. Stock. Magic plus two is pretty good. Reduce fire damage. That's strange. Unless we're about to run into a bunch of uh, fire enemies. The all-purpose katana with luck plus two. Plus Thanks for that. Plus ten HP. That's not that good. Agility plus two for less damage. I don't know. None of these are like. None of these are shouting at me. You know. Hmm. The armor seems pretty decent, but it does cost a shit ton. Sounds like you've had it rough lately. Uh huh. What are you looking for? 
Electricity evasion. Someone's weak to electricity, uh, I try bad as well. And then he's just boost uh, status effect chance, right? Hmm? You finished? What'd you bring? Wanna sure. sure. It's a deal. Hmm? You finished? Don't wanna buy anything? Be seeing you. Let me see if someone's weak to electricity. I think someone is. I just it's probably Yukari, but I don't remember. Yeah, it is Yukari, okay. Oh yeah, so you can level up Fuka and get new abilities. That's cool. That's cool. Is, um... I was asking this before. Is there anything, um... Is there any... reason to get more magic on her? Like, I think the only accessory that would be good on her would, would be, like, SP plus 10, right? Which is in the shop. I just don't have it yet. Like, is that the only part of equipment that really matters for her? Or, like, does her equipment do something else? I don't really, like, say. Uh -huh. What are you looking for? Yeah, there's plus 10 SP there. Um, it depends, Hector. It depends on the game. Um... And also, like... I feel like it depends on a lot of things, to be honest. Because, like, in Octopath, I end up doing, like, both, sort of. Like, characters that are all-rounders, I feel like. Like, Octopath, I feel like certain, like, classes are, like, better for, like, support roles. And then I'll be like, okay, let me spread them out and have them be able to do, like, everything. Whereas, like, a magic user, like my main character, Oswald, I kind of had him as always just doing straight damage because, like, I was like, okay, he's already so strong. Like, I'm just going to pump magic and he's going to do a crazy amount of damage. You know? So it really depends. Um, in general, like, I don't know. I, like, I kind of do both, to be honest. I kind of do both. Like, obviously, you've, you've been seeing with this, like... I gave Yukari some endurance stuff because I want her to not die in one shot, but I also am hard pressed to give it to Junpei because I feel like Junpei is kind of like the tank slash like just do heavy damage, you know? Um, so like, I don't know, it's kind of... I feel like naturally I just want to make people better at what they do, right? Like keep them on what they do, right? Um, like, like make them better at what they already do good because then they're like epic style but i mean i would say i'd say primarily maybe i go for that like i would say naturally i work towards making them better at what they do well already uh -huh. because i would what say in most for? games maybe not definitely not all games but i would say in most all cases done. like if you continue to make someone better at what they're already good at Be seeing you. um I feel like naturally that's like kind of what they want you to do, right? Um, but yeah, I would say naturally, like I, I am kind of inclined to do that unless I see like something awesome. That's what you have a party for? Yeah, that's true. But like, what I mean is like, I mean in Octopath, for example, Ryan, like I feel like the merchant class sucks. Unless you're playing like it, like I or sorry, I didn't say it sucks. It, in Octopath 2, like the hunter class, I feel like is a support role, which I I know some people will disagree with that, but like I think that the hunter role in Octopath is in in Octopath 2 specifically, um, is like a support role. So I usually slap like thief on them because thief also has some support ish stuff, but my main thief, I want doing like. Like, my main thief, 
I would say I want to be doing heavy damage, so I never want to waste a turn doing a debuff, you know what I mean? So instead of having the hunter, like, go into, like, warrior and double up on, like, being purely physical, I usually am like, okay, let's mix this person into, like, a full support, pretty much. So you have, like, the hunter debuffs and the thief debuffs, which normally, like, I wouldn't really want anyone to waste a turn doing, but since you're already kind of support, like, you know, yeah, you can focus on that, you know what I mean? That's what I mean. Yeah, see, Ryan, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I've heard. I've heard people say that Hunter is, like, pretty damn strong, but I did not feel like that in, in Octopath 2. I felt like the animals you could catch were really strong um, on your on your primary Hunter, but I feel like the class itself was not a good class for, for damage. Like, I did not have my uh, Warrior go into Hunter. Like, I feel like in Octopath 1, Hunter and Warrior synergize super well because obviously they're the two most physical classes. Uh, I did not feel that way about Octopath 2. I did not put my Warrior on Hunter in, like, the early game when you when you get Hunter and stuff. I think I had him on, like, something else. Like, I think I, had, I might have had him on, like, Merchant or something. Yeah, see, Ryan, like, I did not do that. Like, I had, I had my Warrior as a, I think, a Merchant for, for a lot of the early game. Um... Or like mid game, I should say, not like early game, but. Um, hold on, let me let me just double check my request. What else did I need? Um, fashionable item. I need a new weapon. Level twenty three persona. Okay, these are all like pretty much you'll get this. Oh, potent medicine. Oh, I can make an Aberon probably now, right? Next time I go into Tartarus, I need to make use of the rare fortune. And everything else is like something I'll get eventually. Let me see if potent medicines at the uh, this. <sighs> potent medicine. Oh. Maybe I need to go visit the. Uh... Or maybe that's in school. I think maybe. You got everything you need. Come again, yeah. Right, it was potent medicine. Yeah, so that might be from the school. Um. Oh, so hold on. Yukari's weak to lightning. If I want to buy these shoes, I should wait till tomorrow. That would just make sense. Save a little money, right? And these are an upgrade. Sure. And then I could also well, buy the accessory team. for Luca to have more SP. And I feel like that would be good. What do you got? Other than that, I don't think I really need armor or anything else yet. You finished? All done here? Come back soon. Okay, so tomorrow I'll get the accessory and the shoes. But what do we do today? I think they have like I can get really academical on it, or I could go, uh... Oh, okay, they got all the the upgrade games, so maybe I will get academical on it. Oh, they're busy? The karaoke is busy too, okay. Well, Hector, the, uh, the Octopath ones, like, like I said, you re you can retain, like, permanently learn, uh, passive skills from all of them, but you cannot, like, that's it. You just, you can permanently keep, like, take over passive skills, and depending on what class you're currently in, your stat spread will change. But that will change, like, on the dime. Oh, is this the feminine thing or whatever that, that, <laughs> um, she wants? She's like, I want something really stylish and feminine or whatever. We got some fun. Or is that separate? Hmm. Serious. I need 150,000 though, so I guess I gotta. I really gotta save up. Um, I gotta save up. Why? Let me just double check. What was it again? It says a fashionable item. Right? That seems like a fashionable item, if I do say so myself. The soul fortune.
Oh, nice. You get like more supercharges. That's cool. All right, let's go. Let's go eat at My Hero Academia, right? I can sense Omega-3 is rushing to my brain. I feel like I can solve any problem now. Morning. But it's this new mysterious ass beat. Morning. I guess it's true that there have been fewer cases of apathy syndrome after our missions, but then again, that changes as we get closer to the next full moon. By the way, what do you think of Kirijo Senpai? What do you mean? That's... Don't you think she sort of pushed Fuka into joining too quickly? I know it's nice to have more Persona users around, especially in battle, but something just doesn't feel right. I don't know why she's so held up on this, like, I don't know. Fuka said she wanted to help, right? Am All I right. crazy? I'm gonna keep going. Dude, this is Maya. I'm telling you guys, this is Maya. Good answer. Why do you, did you feel? Is that why you don't like Yukari? Is that part of the reason? Because I feel exactly the same way, sort of. Like I'm like, why are you weird about this? Our language can be com awfully complex. Don't you hate when the meaning of a word but you can't remember the word itself? This feels like a good time for a spontaneous question. Yeah, yeah, Ryan, when I asked her about her name or whatever, she's like, you can't ask a teacher that or whatever. But also, I don't... Well, I guess Maya could be her name, but it's also just her in-game name is Maya, so... You can face shifting in his seat a bit too much, so instead... Listen. How about you, Pumskoon? Which phrase means able to see, see things for what they really are? That would be a keen eye. Eh? Yep, exactly. That's correct. You may very well have a keen eye yourself. Having a keen eye means you're able to see, uh, able to see things for what they really are. It can also help you make good decisions for your future. That goes for the rest of you, too. It, it, it is literally, Ryan, it is literally a dead game. Like, it quite literally is. Um, they mentioned that, like, multiple times. You need to learn how to look past the surface, otherwise you'll grow to be superficial. That's why we talk in it, like, all the time about real-life stuff, and she's like, yeah, this game is so dead, it's nice we can talk about random shit. Everyone in the class is looking at me with respect. Hey, oh, I'm smooth. I can talk to Tanaka now. Smooth sort. Oh, yeah. I gotta go see. I gotta go to the police station. By the way, All right, let's uh, grab uh, the shoe for you, Kari. A little sale. Not what you want. All right then. And uh, let's. I can't buy stuff for Fuka. Uh, That's weird. What are you looking for? Let's get the uh, plus ten SP. Everything looks good here. All right then. Hmm? You finished? Come back soon. Alright, Puka, you want this. Did that work? Where's our SP? 160. Oh, oh, out of 170. Okay, so it did increase. Okay, that's good. Honestly, a lot of her costs, a lot of her skills cost a lot, so I don't know if 10SP is going to be the make or break, but I don't know. I thought it'd be good to have. Oh, Elizabeth wants to hang out, right? Let's do that. It's as if your presence emanates a far brighter radiance than before. Perhaps all your hard work is starting to show. I'm looking forward to it. 
Is that true? There are people in your world who seek these materials. Black quartz can be found in the second block of Tartarus. The lustful snake that appears in the latter half of the block is quite fond of collecting them. <laughs> material that captivates both shadows and humans. How remarkably peculiar. Indubitably. My! I've been, I've been waiting for you to ask. Shall we be on our way? Oh my! An encounter with one of your world's exquisite treasures. Right out of the blue. So this is the fountain. It takes sport of water, a precious resource, and the very foundation of life. Such a sinful form of art. I've heard of its mystical powers, wherein those who offer coin may Indubitably. have their wishes granted. That's a superstition. Maybe so. Also, I like how I hit the calm down. Try my hand at this. Like, I was able to hit the calm down again. This and brought a hefty sum of coins. Holy shit. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins, to be exact. Do it. I shall make an opening bid of 1 million yen. Yeah, surely one gifters. Holy shmoly. Oh. I was so caught up in the excitement that I started tossing coins without giving my wish any thought. This won't do. I shall give it more careful consideration before yeah, where'd you I get a million yen from? Future. Hmm? What is this facility here? I see there's a gentleman in Yeah, I should be able to do that. I should be able to jump in the fountain and grab all the yen. He made it just like the government, dude. And That'd be awesome. Anaka! So prominently, most want. Reward? Hmm. Would it be correct to presume that these are your version of my <laughs> subjugation requests? Um, pretty much. What do they use as proof that the target has been subjugated? If they truly parallel my requests, then do they require a piece of the body? My interest has been piqued. Jump around, jump around. This edifice over here, is this what you call a club? Yeah, Dancers it sure is. Dictated by the sway of one's inner passions. A subterranean garden flourishing with uninhibited desires. <gasps> oh no! It's closed right now? Oh, what a pity. I had hoped to become part of the scene. Indubitably. Oh. Indubitably. <sighs> well, that was quite Now I see why P3 dancing was a thing. I'm overwhelmed. Everything looks so new and inviting. Everywhere I look, something catches the eye. If you don't mind, could you perhaps recommend our next activity? Um Oh, karaoke or the arcade? Oh shit, guys. Do I make her a gamer or do we go to karaoke Yakuza style? <laughs> Woo! I think we go to the arcade. I think it's gamer time. Jump around, jump around, jump around now. I think we go to the arcade. This arcade. I have heard of it before. See, Hector, if that's I like the other mistaken, thing. It is a playground where one sports with electronic fairies in exchange for tokens. They may also have games where one controls a crane's claw to win prizes. I'm eager to see it in action. How do you think I got all my Jack Frost dolls? Uh, excuse me, would you mind waiting for a moment? They hadn't noticed there was a fountain on this side as well. Yo, throwback. Yet another fountain. On the opposite side, I see. So this place plays host to a trinity of fountain spirits. Indubitably. 
apologize for the wait. Let us continue. Hmm, this mechanism. Am I correct to assume that I ought to punch this area with all my Holy strength? Holy shit. Thank you for the invaluable Oh, experience. come on. We don't know what you she got. Me today. But if she got I like the 999. A complete success. This may sound forward, but I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime. Dude, yeah, I was hoping we get to find out her score on like the punching machine. Why is the music like gone now? They didn't want that shit. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. Still haven't decided what to wish for. Unfortunately, my master has vetoed my wish to renovate the velvet room with the dance floor. Did he veto that, though? Not for long, anyway. I was just set on establishing Club Velvet. That coming up... Um, that we're coming up with another wish has proved to be rather difficult. Marvelous. I wish to come up with a wish. There, that settles it. Please take this as your reward. Small Chiang Sam. What is that? Is that a persona? Oh, okay. I see. Oh, yes. Um Please settle any unfinished affairs. Okay. Very well then. And <laughs> no music is time to clean up your toys. No, it's just quiet in there, I suppose. Um, we got our gear and stuff. We hung out with Elizabeth. Now, I guess we can... Is that guy at the shrine? No, I probably have a marker, right? Because I already met him. I think I think it was your Sundays. Only. I could be wrong, though. I can hang out with Odagiri. Again. Um. Oh, you know what? I actually want to check this out, though. Oh, yeah. He still can't get a cat. I want to see if this place has more, uh, stuff. No, nothing new. Um. Hmm. I guess we just hang out with the. Uh... Oh. Uh, I gotta. I gotta go to the nurse's office, right, and see if I can get medicine for Elizabeth. I can't get it here, right? Okay. Alright, let's see, let's see. <laughs> what brings you to the nurse's office? <laughs> what? You want some potent medicine? I can't just give you potent medication whenever you want. Haven't you heard the pharmaceutical affairs law? an emergency and you absolutely without a doubt need my medicine okay but if you're lying to me i'll curse your kneecaps so they crack every waking moment well here you are okay then this is a special medicine i brewed myself but i don't know if i would call it potent <laughs> all right all right you got what you wanted so off you go now yeah hector that would that would be awesome but uh, unfortunately i don't think actually i could go back in and see if it says anything special <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, okay. He, he just. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, it'd be kind of funny, but. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I can do that. Yeah, let me go bring back the, uh. The stuff, the medicine to, uh. Elizabeth.
Here are my requests. Wonderful. I see. So this is the infamous medicine. Let me have a taste right now. Oh my, what an electrifying sensation. Potent indeed. However, it's well-balanced components prevent it from being How truly lethal. Splendid. The master of the nurse's office must be incredibly skilled. Please take this as your reward. Okay. Actually, hold on. I just want to make sure it didn't, like, open one up. It's, like, down here. Okay, good. Um... We got a new weapon. High chance of confusion. A little more damage, but I lose accuracy. I don't know. I mean, I, I could fuck with a high chance to confuse. I could fuck with that. The minus 10 accuracy is kind of... Yeah, but I'll rock it. It's a high chance of confusion. Like that sounds pretty, pretty good in my in my book. Um, so I'll rock that. And let's. Uh, I think it's that Hector, or they just waste a turn. I think it's like either or. But I think it's also not like guaranteed to work. Like I think it's a chance to work. Kind of like Pokemon, where like they might do something ass, or they might just be normal. I think it's like that. I could be wrong. There's nothing of great importance today in regards to student council activities. Therefore, attending will be optional. Do come if you have time. Okay. Okay. I pull up. Uh, I haven't had that happen yet, Hector. So I don't think so. Sorry you went out of your way to stop by, but it was a quick meeting. Everyone left already. It's nice not having those hyenas around. You're not going home yet? There's something I want to take care of before I go home. It's that cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. I have to hurry and narrow down my suspects. So, as you can see, we can't exactly hold a meeting right now. You can leave if you want. I think I'll stick around. You're probably busy all the time, too. Try taking a break once in a while. If you're not in a hurry, can you spare a few minutes? I'd like to share something. A man without position, honor, or education? What does he cling to as he struggles through life? Sincerity, a man once told me. Do you want to know what happened to that man? He died. Well, a TV anchor woman was injured on the job while reporting on a story. The TV station executives deemed it an unfortunate accident. But when a magazine caught wind that they were hiding something, the execs threw the writer under the bus. They said it was the writer who covered up the truth. They turned him into a scapegoat. He's attorney. And now... That man is blacklisted from the TV industry. His life's calling. The same man who taught me the meaning of sincerity. In today's society, the weak are preyed upon by the strong. You can't survive on sincerity alone. As for me, I want to lead an organization that fosters strength. And to do that, order is essential if I want to keep those with power in check. Hmm. Indubitably. In freaking dubitably. Well, seems like a good spot to call it a day. Shall we head out together? Oh, it's you. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. We. Oh, we got, we got, we could work job, but no, I think we need to go to Tartarus. Um, Hold on, let, let's talk. Um, My persona is called Lucia. Since I specialize in detecting enemies and processing information, my job is to provide everyone support. Well, I can't confront enemies directly like you do. I'll do whatever I can to help out the team. Um, I just don't know if I should... I don't know if I should go to 
Carter's today or wait till like Thursday when you can't hit the job anymore? Because the job I feel like is such a good um Marvel. such a good like I'm looking for time efficient um thing to do. Like you get money, courage, and charm, which is like Here are my requests. I feel like it's such a good deal. Very well then. Until Nick mentioned it, I before it's goofy how P3 Fez hits the I am now thou are I each link increase. Oh really? I you guys said that, but I didn't realize you guys meant it happens each increase. Um, I didn't realize that. Yeah, Atlas I have to make Persona fans get jobs. So true. So true. Um I think yeah, you know what? I, I probably will go to the coffee shop. So let me, like, save, like, here. But we'll do that tomorrow. Um, we'll do that tomorrow, and then we'll we'll head to Tartarus later in the week. Yeah, you guys said that, and either either you didn't, like, specify, or maybe I just confused it and I didn't read it properly. But yeah, I, I, I thought you just... I was like, wait, like, what's wrong with it? What? What? But yeah, the, uh... That makes sense now. Um, anyway. So, uh... Junpei P3 Fez was basic attack a foe when they have fire weakness, and then he falls over. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, Nick said when I first got a link, but I forgot, or like, I, I don't know, I, I didn't understand you guys meant it was every single upgrade. Um, but anyway. Um, I think, I think we are good. I think everything's like lined up. We're, 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 we're destined for success, you know? Um, yeah, so let's, uh, save here next time. We'll we'll hit up the coffee shop job three times a week and then we'll then we'll go to Tartarus. Because if there's one thing more important than Tartarus, it's if there's one thing more important than grinding Tartarus, it's grinding the coffee shop. Um So, so let me like triple quadruple save. Um but yeah, we'll be That's gonna be the stream for today. Um But 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 more Persona 3 Reloaded tomorrow. Yeah, no time limit on most. Um, it was nice. It was nice. Um, but yeah, so no... No... No. 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 Um, no, no. No, that's not what I was gonna say. Uh, Persona 3 tomorrow. More of that. Um, and I'll see you guys then. That's it. Um, I don't know. I don't see anyone live to raid. No stream tomorrow. Boo. Kaboom! No stream tomorrow! Kaboom! No, no, there is a stream tomorrow. There is a stream tomorrow. More Persona tomorrow. Um... More Persona tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. That's the stream for today. So thank you guys for watching. Um... Wait. I'm not waiting. No waiting. No waiting. No waiting. But thank you guys for watching. More Persona tomorrow. And, uh, I'll see you guys then. So bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye! Can you say a funny joke? Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Borderlands style? I cannot say that. I cannot say a funny joke Borderlands style. Um, that will get me cancelled. Um. I cannot say that. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys tomorrow. Bye everyone, bye!